Um, just so everyone knows, we are approaching max 40 for our raid, and some of you are going to be removed if uh, our core raiders who are in this instance earlier in the week to log on. I can't find it, Gem. I'm searching. We're both public. What are we searching for? Dream State Goblet or Dream State Plague Wing? There you go. Dream Eight. State Plague Wing. I found it. Boy, you need to know how to do bosses. I can tell you that. No, I just wanted everyone to watch the video so they understand the pace of the dance. Who's Andrew LaDuke? I'll try to timestamp it. Okay, test number two. Houston, do a copy. Do a copy. I got you, bro. Loud and clear. Major Tom to ground control. We're clear. Can you hear me, ground control? I'm coming in spicy. I'm here. What's up? Deploy parachutes. I am not ground control. I am New York approach. It's totally different. You guys wouldn't understand. That sounds like something that ground control would say. No, I'm the approach controller. Totally different. It I means work, he interacts with Chinese planes into buildings. I work in a What's radar the opposite room of approach? He makes sure the planes are not going to run into each other. So, to put it very simply, their trap control system is broken up into three different things. Uh, towers, which is the things that are the big tall buildings with windows at airports. Approach controls, which is basically the ground up to like, you know, 15,000 feet or something. And then uh, in route facilities, which is all high altitude stuff. I'm the middle guy. Fikey. Approach controller. Fikey. Could you repeat the sentence in which you described what approach control is supposed to do? Please now. I'm done. I'm done. We're going to read now. Everyone go watch that video. I think I heard something about controlling the ground. This is also a piece of one if I remember correctly. All intoxicated streaming. I turn my stream on. This is Major Towns from Ground Control. This is ground control to all raiders. Just a quick reminder to turn your terrain distance all the way down for a dancing lesson. Roger that. And then you're free sound. <laughs> you know, I think I've mastered the dance. I'm feeling pretty confident in my dancing skills tonight, I'm not gonna lie. Last time I did the dance is three years ago, so. <laughs> One thing I've noticed, when you go um, from 3, <laughs> 2, and then 2 to 1, you don't really have to move over very far for 1 uh, in the fast phase. Like, watch the video I re-linked at the exact timestamp. And I, I guess that's not, that's the f start of the fight. I think you gotta speed up a bit for the, the fast dance, but... Guys, we have a guy that got stuck in the boxes. A dwarf. Everyone come laugh at him. Oh my God. Him behind there, in the go? corner. I'm not stuck. <laughs> I'm having a good time. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not an addict. I can, I can quit any time I want. Get out I, then. I can, out. Hit, I can hit slash unstuck anytime I want. Dico can get out anytime he wants. Tom Cruise, get out of the closet. I, there's no way you're stuck. That's <laughs> retarded. I think it's because I'm too short, man. <laughs> I got stuck in boxes a couple of weeks ago. You just had to jump a lot. Yeah. You gotta find the sweet spot to jump. Somebody, oh, can we get a warlock to summon him? You just gotta have the good stuff. You just gotta have the good stuff. All right. I can get out anytime I want. You can get out anytime you want. 
If you don't stop this, we'll turn around with next or miss right this instant. Yeah, we're turning around right now. Dad. Fine, I'll get out right now. One looks cheating. I think I am oh my gosh, guys, it's two minutes after. We're late. Let's go. Oh, there we go. I'm so excited to wipe. Alright, boys. How many people are inside and how many people are outside? I still Five see one, two, three, four people outside. Summon the last people before zoning if you can. By Kinar. Where the fuck is, what group is Dark from Hell and I can't find them. Three. Three. Thank you. Three. Good news, guys. Three. Four. We have Good news, right everyone. We have five resto druids and a feral. <laughs> oh, holy shit! <laughs> So many bavarians. Isn't that good, Faiki, for the Hagen dance? So after the first dance, the druids can resurrect the, the, the idiots <laughs> that die. That's going under the assumption that all the druids know how to dance. No, we only need one druid to dance. That's going under the assumption and that we need druids to dance. We just put soul stones on the druids. Yes, exactly. Put soul stones on the druids. Put them over here. Uh, last time I had a soul stone on Hygien, I died to the dance, and then I rezzed and got hit with that big AoE. <laughs> and and I, think, I think Vlad laughed at me. Raid is full, we're two minutes past our time, let's make sure we get everyone here. Taladril, Baikonar, and Team, Tell and Gemini, flying, of their summoning. Yeah, those yeah, two are summoning. Summon me, maybe. Yeah, yeah, they will get here like, in two or three minutes. Then do all as soon as you guys get here, go ahead and ride down to the gauntlet. So, do full buffs. And then get to work. So we're going for another single death this raid, right? Yep. Right. Tire raid. No death. Come get our mortal title, oh, oh, baby. That was autistic. Oh my god. How much have you drink? Oh, yeah. like oh shit! That's what it's I terrible. forgot to get at the store. Need to get a fat bottle of wine. A quart of whiskey a day keeps me fat, happy, and gay. So you're gay. I'm gay. Didn't know this. I still prefer my moonshine from my homeland. From my homeland. Yes. I bring it to Spain when I go on vacation. Spaniards can't hold it. Thank you! Is it specially fermented in Grandma's bathtub? <laughs> Is that what gives it the extra flavor? Holy fuck. Mercy, dude. Alright, we are missing two people. Gives it the extra flavor. Holy fuck. Alright, we're gonna one shot this. Two shot Lothes. Yeah. And we'll be on full horse for the rest of the night. Well, if we're gonna do four horse now, I need to go to the bank and get my reel. What? I'm not coming prepared to raid. Yeah, yeah what real. the heck? Me and Rio. Wanna have your next gear ready to go for four horsemen? Ah, uh, you know, judging by past performances, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and get full buffs up. Um, don't worry about consumes until we're at the safe spot before the pull. Just 
about everybody's ready, I think. Check your buffs and all that if you're missing something. Looks like we still need paladin buffs on warriors. Blessing light, now we have, I have my still need kings, group one. Get full buffs and then we will start warriors. with the full. Galarian, go get your target. Hi, boss. Last slackers are coming in. Or summoners. It's not even that far of a walk. It is when you're 800 pounds. <laughs> I got my forklift for that one, dude. You have a forklift? Hell yeah, dude. Uh, I, just, I got a little, I I got a little bobcat. I watched uh, the groundkeepers at where I go to school get a uh, four-ton forklift suck. That was really entertaining to watch. I'm pretty sure bobcat is a skid steer now. Did they have to get a ten-tonner to get it out? Right no, they just right. left it there. Oh, they It'll probably one? still be there to, to, to freaking tomorrow morning. Hey guys, let's quit comps because we're going to start. Okay. Clear comps. <laughs> Alright, hunters, get the fuck away from us. You have AIDS. We already Not yet. We already pulled. We all stacked up. We already pulled. Yeah, pull it. Right, no healing. Friends. Here we go. Stop healing. Stop buffing. Most importantly, stay max distance away from this doorway. You gotta do that but not your best. No, it's not all. He's bringing more. All right, TCO. Deco. We're counting on you. you gotta right. Tangle to the biggest wave. There's some right in the door, so that's not I wanna see double plagues. 20 no, gold! <laughs> I didn't gold. make it even five feet with before my pet got hit by stuff in the doorway. Twenty gold to whoever gets only one bat. <laughs> Did you hear your last hope for double plagueies? Do I get That's one? Fine. Do I get a plaguey? Nah, I didn't get it. Hey, Pro Blizzard, throw, uh, hey, throw someone else lead from that Okay, bye, Keith. You have leader now. Alright, let's let's get ready to move, guys. Give it a second, make sure there's nothing late coming through. We have two people stuck behind here. these boxes. Okay, go ahead Lock and start moving. We'll summon them later. The first kill goes to me. Anyone care to wager? We didn't pull that much this time. Patrols weren't aligned. Yeah, that's fine. We did. Hug right and get these bats. Let's get all these bats up against the wall. Good threat, good threat. Mages don't be overzealous. Get these grubs. I haven't hit any yet. Back them up, kill everything, start moving forward. I'm gonna go pick up this plague beast up here. Other takes on grab. It's fine. First play beast, head into the raid, head into the raid. I got stunned. Someone else grab it. I got stunned by Oh my. I got it. It's fine. I'm yeah, it hits really hard. I got stunned by the other trash, or dazed, or not dazed, but uh, slowed by the poison grubs. Oh, finish off those hats and move up. Yeah, we're getting the new. It's respawning, so. Yeah, move up to the dead part. plague beast. Move up to the dead plague beast. We have a grub to the left and a grub in front of us. I'll get this plague beast. Careful on your DPS. There's extra stuff on pro. It's coming towards healers. Really need to kill the stuff in raid. There's a lot of it. Heal the tanks, guys. Pro, 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 pro. I feigned it. Uh, feigning in five. Feigning now. Feigning now. We gotta move around this corner. Yeah, we do have to move now. Right, mine are on their way back. If you're dead, run back. Move up the corner tight. Just tight, right around the corner. Give him some Give drink. Give it a second. Yeah, that's your drink. 
I think we're breaking line of sight on that bat. We're fine for now. Hey, we got that. Oh, fucking drinking aggro. That's some shit. You died? Yeah, drinking I aggro? Could have sworn I've actually never heard of that. I don't think that's a thing. <laughs> Tanks, I need you pre oh, you water to Let's fast. start moving forward, please. Can we start moving forward? Oh, be beast, beast, beast. You beast. Just keep pro beast. Uh... Line of sight, they should. We have to kill the beast on him. Oh, it's oh, over. That that that's gonna spawn. be a wipe. It's over. Yeah. Alright, go ahead and wipe it up and run back. You can't so well, second you start having deaths first off, we're gonna have trouble. Don't do that guys, we will pull back at this time. We need to move just a little bit too faster. A little bit faster, because we've got that five pack of grubs again. Yeah. Yeah, I think we'll get it three times, right? I blame the hunters too. It's okay, it guys. Those were some sorry poles. You're never gonna make it to Hunter Nationals. <laughs> we're just getting out of our system now. Just getting be careful. The mobs. Some mobs are still running back. So be careful when you run in and don't be scared. I mean, we're we're gonna have wipes, so just gotta get back and increase these repetitions. Don't zone in until it's clear. Let's make sure it's. I zoned in and I'm not in combat, for what it's worth. No, we are not in combat, just saying that there are some mobs flying around. Okay, okay. well I'm gonna shadow meld and hide. Thank you, SKT, for letting Cloud9 ascend. <laughs> Thanks for spoiling that, mage, uh, that match. Oh. Dude, it's been like a day, where are you at? Yeah, I haven't seen him yet, I didn't have time, I was at work. It's a spicy one. Okay, I gotta watch it's it. It's still actually. worth watching. I'll Not watch it lie. after the raid. Cloud9 beat SKT? No? I don't wanna know. <laughs> My boys! I'm sorry, who beat what now and what? Legion no Legends! Best the game ever made! Something Look much many... better than NFL. <laughs> Look how many people watch it on careful, Twitch chat. That means some mobs are best game ever. Be careful when you run in. Like three hundred thousand. Esports, man, that's the new thing. Eat sports. I eat sports. <laughs> Let me know when it overtakes uh, curling for views. Curling? Yo, that sports. You mean bad. watching people uh, lift? No, like no, that's curling. Crazy. It's a sport. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, man. Have <laughs> hey you ever seen the Swedish curling team women's? They're fucking. Hey guys, hey guys, guys. hey guys. We just wiped. Hey, listen, we just wiped on some fucking stupid shit. Let's uh, focus. We'll meme later. Yeah, I want to have a good time. We'll meme after we kill Hype. Relax, wait. It's Sunday night. It's been a long weekend. It has been so, a long uh, week. Let's all just calm down. Think about what we have to do and how we have to move what we have to accomplish this group in front of us for this trash this gauntlet and then Hagen and uh, execute I don't need to explain anything we just gotta get multiple repetitions in here until we get this down <laughs> dude Nino you got shitty health stones right this is good health stones for me. Oh, I know. Okay, I know I know what that is. It's played at the Olympics, right? That curve. Uh, Shimita, where you at, bro? You're the only one I don't see in range for uh, buffs. I don't see him either. I have 1440. 
Or 100, you mean 140 hertz, not 1440, right? No, we're talking about health stones. Oh, health stones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think everyone's ready. Hunters yeah, look come. good. Buffs look good. Yeah. Enough. We'll do Finish. final buffs before the boss. Let's get everyone back here a little bit further. No need to be close to the Can't doorway. Walk down the stairs. Nice and tight. Okay, hunters. Oh, what do nice you think? Be careful buffing, Shin. Yeah, we're really yeah, careful. Yeah, slow down on mana gain Point, buffs. Intent. Most important thing is just don't be close. And but don't yeah, heal. Don't, don't heal the hunters, don't hot anything, no pet heals, nothing. Yeah. Here it comes. Incoming. Everyone back up and Come on. Just Come on. Big money, big money! Oh shit, it slowed! Big money, oh. Salvia! Hey, that's that's like beast. One, two, hey, how come you get? How come you don't? I don't know, bro. Now? You should get a wolf. It's not they faster. Yeah, dude. Dash three mm -hmm. is definitely faster than dive three. Yep. I'm getting one plague beast minimum. Just trying to dive. Help. I'm just trying to help. Don't bully. Don't bully. Thank God that we can just do this shit. Cause this room's AIDS is- Alright, Laz, are you- Oh! Uh, <gasps> Ghost costume! How much did you take, Idrid? I, I have no idea. Go. Okay. It looks like a shitload, man. It's more than a single, uh... Worm, or bat, or whatever it was. <laughs> Alright, let's move up as a group. Everyone go. Can we say, hey, stop in the front. Don't even go in the room yet. Okay, okay. Here's here's I got here's killed. Here's move. Careful. Okay, move quick. Oh, are... oh shit. Back no, they're coming back. Back, 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 back. Oh Everybody shit! Back. Just feign death. Just feign death. Yeah. yeah. Gala, feign death. Deco, feign death. Start feign. over. Everybody? Okay. Unless yeah, you yeah, think you can kite back. indefinitely. Uh, no. Yeah, feign death. Just feign off. Feign those off. All of them are reset. Feigning in three, two, one. No, just do it. Yeah. Oh, you gotta communicate with each other. Can I get the rest? Yeah, yeah, one of yeah, the bots. We'll wait for them to run back, though. That way, mine don't go to his and his don't go to me. Yeah. No worries. You can just redo it. It's fine. That wasn't an ideal start. I don't think you wanted to. I got two packs. You know what? Over. Uh, Andrew, where, where, where is your corpse? Uh, At the stairs. Okay, still in play with that. Yeah. Just okay. at the top of the stairs. Be one careful. of the bots kept charging and killing me. Even if I didn't have aggroed him, he just turned oh, back uh, and charged at me. Yeah. Ne never mind, I am inside already. They're just passing through the middle. Watch out, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Did you bring some tenderloins for your uh, pets? Yeah. I already gave him a dirge and dirges. Hey, uh. It might be a long shot. Can I get I one of those power group. word shields on my pet? I know yeah, it might it be long shot. doping, but... You can do that, as long as you do them all before you start combat. I actually don't know how that would work. Maybe you guys can just sneak past them all. No, you get that girl. No shield? Okay. Okay, that's all of them, I think. Rezzes, everyone group up again. Rezzes yeah, are done. I'm, I'm back. Rezzes throw pets. me some cheap buffs. So I'm good with that. If priests coordinate throwing uh, bubbles on all three no, pets, shield, just uh, all team right says shields cause combat. aggro, so. The shit? No. No, like, I'm saying bubble them all before they even fight. Before they even do their pull. Right. And some yeah, of them will that... wear off, but just don't reapply. It's not worth it. So just bubble all uh, three and see how it, long they last. cause aggro now. It's not worth it. Okay, yeah. fine. Is a bat flying over to me? Scratch that. Alright, you guys get your pets ready. We're ready when you are. Ganker, move it move back just a tad, just so I feel better. Right. Uh, fine. Pulling, or Deco, are you ready? I'll just wait till Deco's ready. Yeah, you want to you wanna force on a pet? No. Yes. Don't... 40, okay. 40, yes. Yeah, yeah. And Up. also kings. Four can kings I get and a, uh, can I get Four a, yeah, kings oh, and okay. uh, root buff. Yeah, can I get a mark of the wild on? Take them up so they can pull deep. Yeah, off the pest, please. Oh, 
Oh, hell yeah. That's like a thousand more health. Fort King's Mark Thanks. of the Wild. Or can you Mark of the Wild, Pats? Yeah, you can. Yeah. You can. Yep. Fort King's Mark of the Wild. Shadow protection for some reason. <laughs> you, know, you hunters should all go get turtle pets for this, because don't they get shield wall? No. But they can't run fast. They can't dash. Yeah, but they get yeah, okay. uh, yeah. Hunters, go ahead and move. Uh, everyone else over here on the side. Wait. Logi, waiting on what you. What about stealthy pets? Oh, you guys are buffing the shit. That's fine. Just uh, shielding let's uh, hurry this up. I want to get another shielding. pull in. Come on, guys. All right. All right. Everyone Going over to the side. Three, Let the hunters two, pull. Go ahead. One. We're really doing the shield, huh? Can you turn off those vests, please? It's really annoying, guys. Yeah, please. Oh, you can't cast spells in that form. You guys are ready for this plague beast? It's got oh, a little star on his head. We're going to regionals. We're gonna take state. Big deck. <laughs> How long does that cost? Get the next one in. Two more hunters still. It even says right click this icon to remove it. Are you sure you're using the right click? Guys, I, right. I don't care anymore. Anyway. Focus on this now. Let's let's get a hang in. Does damage end up? We'll find both out. hunters. It looks like you might have to die and run back. Well, let's it your here. No, no, no. I got. I don't. I didn't get anything. I'm okay. waiting for DCU to get out. That's fine. Do I get one or two plague beasts? Another plague. All right, Idrid, go ahead and go in now. Wait. Good job, nah. DCU. Okay, right. nice. Still one more hunter, guys. Oh man. If you could, uh. Get to. Get the one by the door, and we can just run straight there. I don't see him. That's not needed. There's Let's one just... up to the right Major on the hill. Can we just go in with behind you? I think we're fine to go. Wait. Are you picking up anything or not? Because we can just run in with. I got, I got some. Okay, we'll let you kite then. That's Wait on Edger here to leave. Pro, is it more important to get a lot of bats or get a plague bees? Plague bees, well, probably. Little... I think grubs are actually the or most grubs. important. Yeah, they're yes. pretty annoying. I got the plague. I got the plague beast and a few grubs. Oh, also. Okay. Whoa. Wow, all three Whoa. hunters got a plague beast. Good job, guys. Plague right, beast. Uh... We're, we're taking state. All right, I think that's it. Let's move. Behind Pro. I think we're gonna oh. get pack twelve uh, for hunters. I'm gonna ask for pets on my buff on my pets. Mm, no, 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 no. Uh, let's go down the middle. Don't go to the side yet. I won't stack on Star there. Can we skip both? Pull left. Don't pull left. That Try bat? to avoid the grub, but you can go around the left side. We're going to skip the bat. Move up. It's wall. just this one bat. We can keep going. Yeah. We have a bat behind us. Just get it down. There's a grub too. Keep right, moving up around the corner. Yeah, pull up here. All these ads. Right, stop around. Stop at the corner and pick up all these ads. Freaking a, guys! I can't tell what's real. Oh, yeah, I don't know why we have. A lot of <laughs> I'm feigning in five. Oh, uh, we gotta move then because Three, that two, around the corner. One. Beast, right, beast, 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 beast. Get it out of the race. The fucking beast, we shout. Back away, guys. Throws down. I'm gonna set a beast somewhere. I know. What the fuck? We gotta get this plague beast. It's alive. Jesus fuck. Release. We also have Just, bat uh, costumes. Back. What can't... happened? I need the other tanks. Like I'm on those. I'm I'm on the point. We need the other tanks to be in the back, making sure they're picking up all the other ads. I know everyone's trying, but we also need DPS to be a little bit more disciplined. But if we're we're getting healers one shot because we don't have a tank uh, over there, and then yeah, I got to do nothing but focus on plague beasts. Yeah, we'll pick them up. Um, I thought we, uh, sometimes we skip that one, the one that aggroed and wiped us there. Um, don't go wide. I'll just people going wide around the mushroom. It. Yeah, you guys gotta hug around that corner tight. This is easy, let's do it. 
Hunters are carrying us. What about like a stealth pad? I'm sorry, what? Hunters can think... carry only so far. Yeah. yeah, I don't think our hunters are our problem. Yeah, it's not. I, I, I... He literally said the opposite of what you might be implying. Yeah. Playing. But don't I worry about it. just need everyone to stop like, fucking around. Let's just focus on comms and do our job. All right, a couple of these ads just now reset. Looks like our timing was good though. Yeah. Following them back. Be careful, just don't hit them. They will evade most likely anyway, but who knows? Yeah, just in case. Who knows how, how Idra here set them up? Oh, hell yeah, dude. Alright, can we go ahead and uh, move to the safe spot and get buffs? Mana, most buffs look, look good. Give us about 15, 20 seconds, hunters. Good job Very last time. Make sure good. they all have buffs and uh, shields. A little bit more mana. Everyone sounds focused. Should be good this go around. Okay, hunters on you. Point in three, two, one. Alright, heads are bobbled. Go. Head is bopped. <laughs> oh, come on. Alright, now it has to wait. Can you not go while it's bopped? Yeah, you can't move while it's uh, bopped. Yeah, just do a priest bubble. Go. Hold on, they can't move yet. No? Did he got bugged or what? Yeah. Just uh, right. dismiss it and resummon it. Can I get a. Perfect. Summon it. Okay. Go. Careful. Back Don't up. touch it. That was too quick. Fuck. It's fine. Just let the next hunter get it. Right. Go. This year, go for it. I'm going in! I'm relying on you, DCO. He didn't do much. Yeah, literally, I'm trying to evade things in the door, hitting the fuck. Bomb, it's over. Uh, faint. Reset. I, I died. Faint it off. Uh, Glory and reset. Glory and faint. Well, well, reset. We can so we can raise him real quick right now. No, no, no. Okay, uh, run up and grab it. Yeah, you can. You have time. Oh, yeah, you're over there. Yeah, just Everyone trust him. Raise him, then no, if you're here to pull. They're resetting. They're resetting. It's okay. As soon as the res goes off, just back up quickly. Just get off the door. Here they come. Hurry. Except and run. Wait. Run this year. He's got it. 
Alright. I like how the dwarves fall backwards. It's funny. Good. Okay. Reset everyone. Sorry about that, guys. One more time. You're One fine. Okay. Right, can I get a Blame me to Galarian. And... Alright, buff Galarian's pet. Put him stamina. Give him stamina, kings. Arc of the Word. Still missing kings on that bit. Just fucking buff it up. Kings on the wolf and the Come dragon. On, Don't be slackers. Good job. Okay, hunters right. on you. Yeah, that, that's the other one. I marked one for myself. That's yours, probably. I got it. Uh, ready? Yeah, go I'm for, it. for this back. Alright, guys, let's wake up. Uh, we're in Nax. Teed up to make a progression tonight. One in three, two, one. Oh. I think it's happening. He's going the distance. He's going for speed. Oh, good job, buddy. I ain't gonna Watch play out for the charge. Yeah, yep. he was pooping off. Jesus. Yeah. No plague, but... Damn, son. All right. We got everything okay. else. The plague's kited off to the left-hand side. That's why, though. Yeah. 20 out of 10. <gasps> <laughs> Fainted. The... Fainted. Me? Oh, oh god. god. Alright. I didn't see it until... Let's just, let's just work with that, guys. Uh, okay. So you can't but, uh... work with that. Alright. We're going. Oh, no. Let's just go. Figure it out. Just try it with that. We need repetitions yeah, on this good. fight. We can't rely on the hunter pole the entire time. Wait, wait, wait. There's a worm there. We can go hard left, I think. Go up against the wall, right here. Stay away from the plague. Kill everything, please. Need to move up to the next three group now, like now. Hug wall, hug the wall. Keep moving up. Keep getting Let's the plague. Nobody touch the plague. Everyone Keep else moving up. Sorry. Move up a little bit more. Move up to the bear if you can see him. Or put him. The shit's respawning behind us. We gotta keep moving up. Good. Don't get too close to the plague beast. Yeah, the healers are getting hit by that. Melee just focus the other shit. Or the beast. Yeah, okay, we can and move up a bit. Right, you can, whole group can move up slightly. Good job. Sorry, max distance from this next beast. Not max distance, but just don't get melee. Uh, melee can handle all the other adds. Move up to the first scrub. So these guys, you guys can move up around the corner. Get pretty close to the corner if you can. Because we have shit spawning behind, behind it. Move up more. Yeah, that's why. Move up a little bit more. Get the adds from behind us. Start moving around the corner. Safely move around the corner tight. Okay. Directly got a lot of around stuff. the corners where we want to fight. Feigning in three. It's probably good. We got one more. Fine. Alright. Move up a little bit more around this mushroom now. Keep moving. Be careful on the plague beast to the left. Let's just move to the safe spot right now. Plague beast, uh, let's move, up. move to the safe spot. Heal pro, heal pro, heal pro. You're out of range, probably. You're out of range. Yeah. Move to the safe spot, everyone in that corner. Kill the plague beast if you're ranged. Melee can handle all the other shit. Keep tapping. 
time to be honest now. I don't want to be like four or five. Like beats is nearly dead, then they we can't get them ranged. Holy fuck, Everyone we did it! Up. Good Hunters, job. Uh, you guys, if you died, run back, please. We'll get your resin. Everyone, now get your full buffs up. We're gonna stack tight here. Will only be one or two things that respawn. Full consume. I got my head. Uh, what protection do you use? The well fed on the bobbing apple doesn't work. Yeah, I've had some problems with that too. Do we have anyone else needs to be summoned? You guess that one. Looks like the dreamer's not here. Not here, not here. We need frost, my nad. Either not here, frost, my nad. I got a feeling that he's they're gonna be the guy that dies. Kill, kill this bat and let's get ready. Help's done. Rage. Oh, a little bit more mana. I want to pull before the plague beast spawns. Everyone knows their job. Everyone knows the pace. It's gonna be an arc in the fast mode. Don't overrun it. Okay, we're gonna keep going with this regardless of how many people we have. You can kill this boss with not, you know, like, I would say, I wouldn't say half the raid, but we can take losses and still get a kill. And the important thing is repetition of practice here if you're still getting used to the dance. You can't kill him with 20 people, bro. Alright, kill, kill this bat, and then we're gonna pull right afterwards. Thanks, get your reach. Alright, this warriors. Alright, pulling in three. Everyone ready? Pulling in three. Two, one, pulling now. All in. First eruption in five. Careful on ignites. It is. Pulling my way from the bottom of the tank. Next eruption now. Please, Major. Eruption in three. Right, this is uh, the last part of the dance, so this next bag eruption will be for the last time. Alright, moving for the last time. Don't run up until after this eruption goes off. Dance starts after this eruption. Move, 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 move. Uh, dancing shoes, get on phase one. Don't get too. F get right in the middle. Good spot. Eruption. Dance in one. Get ready to run. Now. Arc out. Arc out. Don't be too close.
arc back out. It resets at one. One more. Back, back one. on the platform. Resets Get a B res on some of the droids. Hold on. Eruption in two, get ready. I'll get somebody after this first one. I got three. Crap. Follow me, guys. Come on. Went two for the PI. Up your right side, kill the ice stone. Careful when we won't come in this doorway. A little bird, a little bit. Safe. Wait for the eruption, then go. Wow. Next uh, dance starts in 20 seconds. Alfred, you got intervene. Yeah, we can't go. Last one. After this eruption, we move to the next one. So after this, the dance starts. One more eruption, Ganker. Get ready for dancing after this. All right. Dancing shoes starts at one. Everyone move. Move to pro at one. Get about to. Oh. He ports away. Really? There it is. Get ready. Oh. Eruptions in two, one. Here's eruption. Go. Don't overrun it. You don't have to go very far on the edges. Don't overrun it. Sends after this. Here's the last step. Back to one. Good job, guys. Keep going. Eruption in four. Go pro, heal pro. Yeah, all healers focus pro boys right now. If he dies, we all wait. Be careful cleansing that disease off of pro. Eruption two. We can get this here. Just relax. Keep up a Fury Warrior too. All team. I keep him up. Interruption coming here. My life skipping is wearing off. And my oh, stand wearing off. Ooh. Get in there. Uh, Shadow Law, back off. That's not a safe spot. You guys need to move in now. You have three seconds. This. Dish, move in now. Come on, guys! Oh my god, keep him. Pros the fucking maggot in the raid. You got three healers teleported right now. Yeah, I spawned yeah. for. Stone. I used Hellstone, but it's not gonna be enough. That's white. Almost. 6%. Alright, just gotta do better. I'm glad I'm at least not dying to fucking lava anymore. The dance was done a lot better than in previous uh, attempts. Um, one thing that fucked us up was we called into after the second dance, we called in to move to the first platform, but he didn't teleport yet, so all the healers ran up and got fucked by his AOE. Yeah, we got yeah you just have to be careful. You kind of yeah. like so the go second round dance here, he didn't go right away. Like it still yeah. happened, and it still happened on time, but he didn't port away ahead of time like he does in the first cycle. So yeah, you got to be a little bit quicker, but you, you still it's a catch twenty two because you got to be in that start position if you want to survive the fast dance, you know. And just a note for those who get teleported, the actual stones on the doorway are not safe. You'll get hit when it goes up. So what do we need to be doing in the tunnel when people get ported? So you run to the right side of the tunnel. Uh, the, my, the little eye stalks will mind play you. 
and you have they only have like 500 or 600 health so like one or two hits will kill them so you can like use just use your instance on um yeah but then essentially you just run along that right side wall and kill the eye stocks that are mind playing you and hopefully none of the grubs aggro you and then wait for the right time to enter into the room again because you got to watch your eruption timer the grubs should not fucking yeah, the grubs shouldn't aggro you, so try not to use any AoE. I have to repair my gun real quick. I fucked up. We can two pull this. Don't worry. Alright, are we filling in? DCL Could be back. Yeah. Um, yeah, the other thing is, for those of you who haven't been teleported before, just hug the right wall, kill any of those eye stalks that are along the right side. They're very easy to kill. I can take them out with two moon fire. And um, do not run in when there's an eruption going off. So check your uh, raid timers, look for the eruption, and then jump in afterwards. And don't even stand in the doorway, because I realized I got hit, even though it didn't look like I would, I did get hit. So, um, line of sight, the doorway, until an eruption goes off, and then it's safe to run up to the platform again. Even melee, if, if you need to catch up with the group, run up to the platform, wait for it to be safe, and then run down with the rest of the melee group. Um, buffs are just about done. A little bit more mana. Let's get Hunter Strike. Yeah, let's just two, let's just two pull it. We can summon them before the boss. Throw that uh, power word shield whenever we're ready to pull on the cut. My pet's all set. Does anyone need anything for my Tokyo Chapel? I don't know where to Ah, can you pick me up with some mail? Just uh, let me know when you're ready to pull for. Alright, back up here. Everyone's ready. <laughs> Glorian, count it down. It's on you. Pulling in three, two, one. Godspeed, little buddy. Oh, dazed. Whoa. Next hunter. You, you got the beast. beast. Nah, I don't think I did. Yeah, you did. Oh. Well, not the one I was targeting. Did you? I think. I don't think no, I okay. saw it aggro on it. Shame. For shame. Oh god. Did you get a monster pull? Maybe. Oh boy. Let the oh, jury you better be judge. Let the, let the jury decide. It just looked like a monster pull. I've seen better. Nah. Is that it? 
I think it's just RNG on the patrol. Yeah. Dudes. Okay. yeah start moving. Only everyone, hey, uh, Grippy, please stop in the front and ganker. Let's stop. Let everyone else group up with us. Want to be more clumped than this entering the room? All right. Now. Basically, want to be two steps behind the star, guys. Gotta pull One. the grub. Get, get the grub. Just keep moving. We don't have. It's not a race. We got plenty of time. We can hug around left around the stump. Don't need to pull this stuff over there. Try not. And then go down the very right side of this stump. We got a grub uh -huh. and the bat. It's fine. Just pick them all up and move up against the wall. Let's go get the plague beast. Everyone step up. Hug the wall and move up a little bit. Don't get in melee room with the plague beast though. Melee if on all the probe moves rounds. up, we move up. Range can focus the plague beast. Move up. It shouldn't be a don't, line. Don't move into the plague beast until it dies. There we go. I'm gonna kill off all the adds. And then I'll step up for the next plague beast. Do not get near it. After this next plague beast, you guys can all move up until then just focus the adds. Don't frost Nova. As soon as the plague beast dies, you guys can move up around the corner. Move up around the corner. Be careful the plague beast to your left. Just hide around the corner, please. Ganker. Trying to see if I can res real quick. Let's move up again. Avoid the plague beast and We're just gonna move get up. those bats. Move to the safe spot right now. Can everyone beeline it to the safe spot? Feigning in five. Kill pro hoop. Aiming now. To the here. safe spot. Quill in line of sight. Quill in a flesh. Everyone's around. around the corner. Just melee on the other ads. Ranged on the plate yeah. beast. Everyone else claps. Kill itself. If you need to be summoned, call it out. Type in your group number. In the raid. Everyone get your mana, full buffs, consumes. Let's get a kill. It's progression time. Little big ass server lag spike at the beginning of the dance. Shh. Don't jinx it. It's a kill guy. We only need to do 6% better. Shouldn't be that hard. Let's go. Wheel. Spot post, please. We got a grub. Summons and spot buffs. So get ready. Is that everybody? We'll let warriors pull. more mana. Alright, I'm gonna have a full rage bar and a uh, mighty rage pot so you guys can go ham on the pull. Just don't pull aggro, but get a healthy burn in. Alright, mana looks good, rage looks good, buffs look good. Pulling in three seconds, everyone ready? Pulling in three, two, one, pulling now. We got a bat behind us, I think. No, we didn't get him. Alright, first eruption comes in three seconds.
Next drop this. You're a little too far that way, bro. I know. Eruption in two, that's the second to last one. Alright, here's the last eruption. Everyone get ready to dance. Wait. Ready? Alright, dancing shoes. Let's move. Don't, Don't get right, mana tel drained. Teleports now. Like that. Don't there get mana drained. Eruption like in that. two, one, start dancing now. What the fuck? Don't overrun it. Ready to turn now. Don't overrun. Don't overrun. Second to last. Alright, this is the last one, then we set back to one. Back to one. Eruption in seven seconds. Here comes the first eruption in one. There it is, moving. Move a little more. Corruption 2. Wait, wait, wait. Seconds to teleport. Alright, here comes the dance after two sec. This is the second to last step. If you get teleported, you this gotta get teleported. the last direction before the second dance. Can't just run past them. Eruption in two. Uh, eruption now. Alright, back up to dance. He teleports right when the dance starts, so don't get too close to him. It's about okay, to teleport away, and get ready for the dance at the same time. Teleports away, get ready for the dance. Eruption 2, not yet. There it is. Don't overrun it. Don't overrun. Try to cast here, just get through the dance. Last one, and then we just go reset back at one. Back to one. GG. Good job, guys. Give it up for the day. Hey, right, first eruption's coming up in two. Alright, moving to one. G, motherfucking G, finish him. Next eruption. Die! No. Oh. Did it, boys. Good job, everybody! Progression. Nice hat. Nice I tried to say hat. I didn't fuck up once on that dance. That's nice the first shit. time I ever survived Hygen. <laughs> and I'm out of mana to clear the hallway. Congratulations, guys. That was fucking awesome. Alright, All right, let's, let's uh, move up and uh, get everyone res. We got some trash in front of us. We got Lothab, and then we got four horsemen. We're closing in on the end of Nax, guys. Good <laughs> luck. We gotta improve our consistency there for sure. But we're only an hour in. Got two hours left. 
plenty of time to make some progress. We're officially 11 out of 15. So I want to thank all the pros that carried us there. Stayed alive until the end. That was smooth. Yeah, guys, thank you. So I want something, a quick lesson on this. This where, where no. pro is now, this is kind of, it juts oh, out. Actually, I'm sorry. So when you're coming to, from two to one, this area is pretty uh, much a danger zone. So we always want to be back a little bit further within the art. The other thing is uh, from one to two, uh, it, you get a lot of room. As same thing from four to three like it's a lot more room than you think it's a little bit more cramped in the center on these two and i'm always queuing off the one fourth and the three fourth mark on this platform so when i'm back here and i'm looking of where to position the boss because i'm running on these sides my first one is here approximately the one fourth spot uh of this platform that i'm now running perpendicular to um and then the next one up here is like the three fourth spot up on the platform and so i want to be back here accordingly grants ball right around this spot Yay, someone and come res me so I can... And then you the motherfucking wizard hat! You don't have to go very far as you arc around these corners. You can turn around pretty early, so like I like to get about right here and then turn. And But obviously you just gotta watch it and memorize the pattern. But we have enough to do it now, so let's uh, make sure we don't forget that heading into next week. We can even consider heading to the swing earlier, just while it's fresh on everyone's mind from a Sunday. Yeah, so we can spend three days well, back. Um... We might mix up the wing order a little bit heading into next week, we'll have to see. We also may have uh, world buffs though, so... The only issue uh, for me personally as a hunter with that is I can't run all the way to Gothic. Yeah, it's not clear. That, that's a good point. So, so we'll figure I, that I out. I could so, do um, another wing, right? I could go maybe let's to move our up and fire kill, wing, uh, kill these ice dogs. Or I could go to like uh, a bomb wing or something like that. But Gothic's I think the hardest. we should keep doing the order. Uh, let's stop chaining. Sorry, we still have people dead. I didn't realize that. Just try not to chain another one. Maggot! We can res uh, Tala Drill in here too. This isn't a bomb, is it? it? The maggots are neutral. No, I think they're linked to uh, Hygen. Okay. Alright, stop killing stuff. Let's get a res on Tala Drill right here. Where are you going, Doc? Really? I needed to kill myself. I need to go to repair. Can we get a res on Tala Drill? It's definitely respawning. They do respond. Then it is a gauntlet. Yeah, this is definitely it's a quote-unquote gauntlet. Quote gauntlet. Yeah, let's keep moving then. Only the eye stocks are respawning, not the maggots. They used to be hard in that, like really, really fucking hard. Yeah, uh, oh, nice wrath. They're actually really hard. Right, good job, range. Flesh grab down there. Just pull that, that was like uh, easier. That was like with ten little the bottom. Yeah, I have no. This is where we die a million times. Yeah. Don't fall. I do not no, that's not going to be that bad. Though. So we're going to do some dry runs on Lotheb, um, get the mechanics down, and then we'll start using consumes. So until we can get them to about half half health with no consumes, uh, we're not going to. Is there a gate for you guys here? So can no. someone link the uh, oh, order of ability you usage? Want no, I don't using shadow pots yet, but we will be using your health pots and your bandages. And I want everyone to start practicing the cycle they got to go through. Health the name stones. of the game on Lotheb is that uh, healers only ever heal the tank because every time you cast an ability, you're locked out for like a minute from casting another one. So healers actually literally only cast a heal a minute. So they all have to get a proper order and stagger the heals on pro. No limited overhealing, obviously. Um, and then everyone else has to met, manage their own health bar. And there's AOE damage sources going off. So basically, um, it's a race to kill Lotheb while managing all the heals on the tanks. And everyone else has to stay alive via shadow protection pots and bandages and health um, stones and uh, health potions as well. So that's the oh, gist of the fight. Um, I'll pull up the, my notes, make sure I discuss the details. But the important thing is, let's get some dry runs in here and get them, get the mechanics. Oh, just get through here, seriously. Do we have uh, Do we have Paladins? Is the tier one set? It helps a bunch on this fight. What are you talking about? Paladin tier one set, I guess. I don't know. The aura is yeah, only aura direct aura. healing. Indirect mm. healing still heals for full. Okay, so for Lotheb, um, his one-minute cooldown is for all healing spells, including cleanse, dispel, remove poison, 
Um, this Summon means you get three. one beneficial spell to cast every one minute. Um, he has a poison aura, five yard range, uh, 200 nature damage inflicted every six seconds for 12 seconds, 12 seconds between each poison aura. Um, that might be something that he puts on the ground. Is poison aura around him? Or is that on? I think it's around him. Um, after two, two minutes into the fight, he casts Inevitable Doom. It inflicts 2,500 shadow damage after 10 seconds. It's 100 yards. He does it every 30 seconds. Oh, and then wow. um, five minutes after uh, engaging, this will be every 15 seconds. The debuff cannot be dispelled, cleansed, or decursed, and the damage cannot be resisted. So it's all about withstanding that Inevitable Doom on the whole raid, while none of the healers can heal people. So that's why everyone's responsible for shadow potions, as well as uh, healing pots and bandages. Uh, the decurse every 30 seconds, starting about two seconds into the fight, Lothab will remove all curses on himself. Um, so I guess we got to be reapplying curses on Lothab throughout the fight. Final yes. thing is he does a fungal bloom. Uh, critical hit chance increased by 50%. Spell critical hit chance increased by 60%. Spells and abilities cause no threat. Um, you get it from the environment. You can control who gets it. It has a 90 second duration, spawns every 12 seconds. Every time, only five people can get it. So I guess we need to set up a rotation for fungal. Yeah. Um, the, the first three, five to get it. The three classes that need it the most are warlocks, mages, and fairy warriors. So class leaders, I need you guys to figure out your... Um, and you want to start with mages. Yeah, and five people at a time, and it's every 12 seconds. Fisher's got the belt, right? Yes. Yes. Those people with fungal bloom do no threat, so you just get to go complete ham. Yeah, so, so you want to put put all the fury warriors in a group? Because you're going to call groups to get the uh, spore. Or just put them in a metaphorical group, because they still... Still have to give like shout to the rogues. Yeah. And the hunter. Yeah, you so. can just call by class. Cause oh look at that, we have four mages, four warlocks, or five four warlocks. Four to five. Oh, we have five. Oh, there it is. So. Four fury warriors. Five rogues. Okay, yeah, so we got to make sure we have judgment of light up. Judgment uh, of light somebody drop up on both of the entire time. Someone take responsibility for that. So we pull from right here. If everyone can look and see where I'm pinging on the map, and Lothab's right here, the spores spawn over here to our left. So yeah, you'll have so to run over there and kill it, and then that's run when back you get the fungal the bloom. So by killing the spores, that's what gives you fungal fungal bloom. We want Correct. five people. I, do, I don't believe they have very much health, but they have a decent amount. They spawn every thirteen, so like one k. Yeah, so it's, it's not as spawn. it's not as low as the eye stalks, but it is enough that you have to hit them a couple. So spores are spawning every 13 seconds to give you the chance to get fungal bloom on five people that don't cause threat and have increased crit chance. They just go ham for a minute on the boss every time. Um, so we can have four or five. Basically, everyone gets to eventually get it. We just got to control five-man groups of rotate DPS rotating in. Uh, Pro, should we pop anything for this attempt or no? No, no, just dry run. I have consumed still just from my uh, previous boss. Um, and so then uh, once we get some dry runs in and we're getting them to 50% without uh, consumes, we'll start doing shadow protection and everything. Uh, yes, Galadon. If we so, all run back and we die close to the flare, we can res. You'll see when we get up, like... You can carry multiple health zones, obviously, depending on rank. Um, so let's work on that. Oh, Light wells are not yeah. afflicted by the cooldown, so you can use them to kill people who are about to die. Light wells? <laughs> nice meme. And obviously, oh, shadow, priests, shadow priests are excellent for healing groups with uh, the current talents. Yeah, let's get Vlad um, in here. Alright. I think we make a macro like that, that, guys. One knows uh, kind of what to do. Uh, where do you want me to tank him? Am I going to be on the right side? Just right where he is, pretty much. In the middle. Yeah, yeah on or, platform. Do I tank him up? I tank him up against the gate, though. So I move him into the back of the room. I think you don't have to. I feel like there's a reason for that, but I might be wrong. He does a he does a nature damage aura, but it's only like 12 yeah. yards. It's not super far. Yeah, I'm still just gonna move him all the way back in the room, face him away from the raid where we're standing now, and then yeah, um, try not to burn through health stones until we do full consume runs. So yeah, Does don't he... blow hellstones. Just try to practice with bandages right now, for the most part. Does he do a small AOE around the melee? 
Yeah. Yeah, that's the nature of damage. It's aura. every 12 seconds. Or every 6 seconds. It's 5 yards, 200 damage. 12 seconds between each poison aura. I guess that's the counter judgment of light. Yeah. But you need to have judgment lineup on it. And I don't know, I'm not clear on the mechanics of that poison aura, so let's just pull and figure it out. Um, everyone ready? Not really. I still got. I still got a resurrection sickness for another two minutes. Okay, that's fine. This is just a dry run. So, um, DPS groups, you guys know who's on fun fungal blooms for the first, you know, five melee or the three melee groups basically, and then the range. Just make sure you guys are all at that good rotation down because technically, like, it's every twelve seconds and it lasts a minute, I believe. So you can have four or five groups rotating through on fungal blooms, yeah. and then five people per time uh, group. Do you? Who do you want calling for the spores? I don't know. One of the DPS, hopefully. I'll try to help with timers too. Okay, I just want to get attempts in. So let's uh, get can ready we, uh, for the pool. Can you inch up to see where you ask Paul Matt? Pretty sure yeah, you I will. Right. Let's uh, get 10 second warning. Everyone, don't don't scoop any further. I want to be the one to pull. Let's have everyone stack up on pro. Can everyone show me that you're ready by moving up? Please move up, guys. Mad, uh, Rick, Gemini, Reggie, Nito. Reggie's got wife aggro. All right, everyone pulling now. I'm just gonna inch up to see the aggro radius. Yeah, so if we need to, we can just res in the door. Right. Right, we're good. We can all no, get in the room. Bro, right, we all right. have to get in the room first. All right, get in the room. Everyone in the room then. But it looks like we can scoot into the room every time. Reggie, I need, I need just 50 seconds on resurrection sickness. Just get in the room, Reggie. Is that Doc? Yeah, that's me. Okay, well, I'm, 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 I'm the shitter tonight. Sorry. God damn hey, it. Hey, healers, look at what Fikey just yelled. So look at your rotation. You should have a macro that every when you do your heal, you then hit the macro that says I healed, and then whoever's up next in the rotation has to, to say their name and yell. And make it eight or something. That's really good. Yeah, just. F8 or like mount it to a key off to the side and then just press it every time after you drop your heal on pro. And obviously you're dropping your biggest and best every time. Yeah, uh, Druid's dropping max rank regrowth, so you're throwing a hot up there with uh, your big fat heal. Okay. Yeah, hero charm's huge ready. here, guys. Everyone's inside. Doc, is your thing falling off? Good. Light, quick heal, Doc. A little bit mana you can drink while someone pumps a heal into you. All right, dry run, low theb. All right, uh, first one's gonna be all the mages and corruption. Where's Vlad at? How close is he? he yeah, he's almost. Yeah. He's just leaving. Just yeah. leaving. All right, we're gonna pull without him. He just landed. Okay, everyone ready? Pulling in five seconds. Pulling in three, two, one. Pulling now. Pulling him to the back wall. Nope, wait. Not if Tina's anything to do about it. Don't go ham at the start. Next four and one. Start heading on that back. You guys come in with alright. Spore is over on the right. Let's all just keep him right here. I don't want to move too far away. All from mages, the all mages. Next four now. Four Next four now. Slow. Fear no, warriors and two four rogues. Now. Now. Right side. Right. Fear warriors. Rogues. Stop uh, killing it early! Elite heal. Warlock start heading Next over. Next two. Next board now. Reggie heal. Pro's down. Kill it. Come on, so, guys. So, um, yeah, healers got behind there, but I know that we're gonna have to work through that, so it's gonna be hard. I, I know we're yelling about spores and everything, but we really should keep, uh, comps yeah, clear but, for healers. Yeah, yeah, this is a healing th intensive thing, but... You guys just gotta deal with the sports. Do we wanna move healers down into a separate channel so we can just focus on that? No. That would be awesome, actually. We can consider it, but I don't think it's necessary yet. We, people can just stop complaining about sports once they understand what they're doing. Keep flesh up if you can. Nothing was really assigned for it. See, I mean, we're not taking a crazy amount of damage, but the, the problem here is it's a race of burning Lotheb in time. We are not taking we, uh, damage because it hasn't started. No, no, I'm saying the, the tanks aren't, but we're, we still have tanks dying. 
we haven't even gotten to the hard part of the boss. The inevitable also, comes in 20 seconds. So just try to keep Qualian up or Taladril. Keep Taladril up now, healers. Um, and then keep Taladril alive until the Doom goes off so you guys can witness what the inevitable Doom's like. Uh, stay alive, keep healing until we see the Doom go off in 5 seconds. Next boar is coming in 1. Yeah, um, another thing healers may have done is we see this poison, so we have this uh, urge to cleanse it. But right, cleansing. Here's the doom, and here comes the damage. Is... There's the damage. So that's what you gotta deal with. And then look at that big wigs, puts a nice shadow protection potion up on you to remind you to reuse it. Because basically you're pre potting, and then on the second AoE shadow, you're, um, you have the shadow pot. So that covers the second Doom, which is coming out now. So after that first Doom starts, look how close this next Doom comes out. There it is, it's applied. Now you have 10 seconds until that one hits you. So it's, it's every, every 30 seconds. Yeah, the Doom is applied every 30, and then it's uh, 10 seconds until the damage hits. So it's every 40 seconds of damage taken. Yeah, Actually, uh, healers do not cause, do not dispel anything. So, uh, that's so all, all the people that are on spores need to be better about grouping up on them before it's killed. So make sure all your other homies are by it. Oh no! Yeah, we so, need to. That's probably best to assign group numbers of who runs to the spores. So, it's five people. Yeah, yeah that's how they do it normally. We are resin, resin, right? We're not hey, running back. I don't think um, we got to run back. Bugged out. If I can say anything right now, this boss actually requires a lot of preparation. Requires a lot of shadow pots, requires like um, have shadow first aid they bandages. Have bandages. They have everybody has to have bandages. Everybody has to have uh, health pots. Everybody has to have uh, um, health stones. Doc, uh, we have it's, hundreds, it's, I promise. And we need we need paladins to have eight out of eight to one, obviously, and all that stuff. So that's very helpful. Not a, the eight of eight tier one, I don't view that as a requirement. We can definitely kill him tonight with what we have, and I know people have plenty of consumes. The point here is we're going uh, to get a couple dry runs in, so that we understand the mechanics, and then we'll go for kill attempts. But we should be able to get him to five, fifty percent basically uh, without consume usage, or at least without uh, shadow pots. And I'm not here to waste people's time, but I not only disagree with your statement that we cannot kill him tonight, but also, uh, would you suggest we just stop raiding and do nothing for the next hour and 40 minutes? Or would you like to try and progress and max, like we've already said? Oh, we could finish a queue. I don't think that's what he's implying. I know. I'm just saying, like, we're going to get this down. We'll, we'll get every boss down eventually after we practice it. So we just got to get some repetitions in, learn the mechanics, and then once we start getting to around half health before wiping, We'll start blowing con shadow pots. No, I we'll definitely kill this boss. I, I All I'm trying to say is it requires a lot of lot of preparation in advance, Absolutely. which we yeah, didn't count. Did. But, just, it it is. but the we problem did. is, once you get the mechanics down, it's full consumes, and you're pre-potting sh greater shadows, and you're reusing one greater shadow during the fight, and then you're also working in mm -hmm. heavy rune cloth bandages as well as your your healing potions. And we've already been beating everyone up over the first date, but this will hopefully be a wake up call by Wednesday for everyone to get their first aid up if they don't have it yet or make sure you're stocked up on healing pots and it's just those three things if you have enough of those three things as well as your consumes and you know the fight you'll get it so is the respawn time still quick even with uh, Hagen down does anyone know I don't think we'll it respawns I, I, think, I hope it doesn't so it probably won't let's get all grouped up outside of the uh, suppression room the gauntlet for Hagen wait why we are, we are, are we we're over here we're raising everyone all right, a bunch of us ran, and then we'll have to get summons from about 15 of us. You want to try to kill a bat and see if it respawns? Do we have yeah. any warlocks up there that where we got res? We have a yeah, warlock. Have Bro, why don't you go pull something just so we can... If you can think of you can pull just one to see if it respawns. Well, it's going to chain, but all right, we'll try. You might be able to grab that grub. We got a bunch of things here. Just have a hunter. Or no, there's no hunters here. Yeah, that's a big one. Get ready. I told you, they, they chain. Can healing aggro? I had no chance to get back to you. And I'm slowed from that worm. You gotta switch to bear though when you see him barreling down on you. 
So should healers re-log on and install that add-on? That's all. <sighs> Fuck it. Yeah, that sure whole that room changed, apparently. Yeah, it's a three-minute cooldown, so it's only one once per fight. How many warlocks do we have in the that got rezzed? We only Looks need like one. Two. Right, well, we have a couple of warlocks the other that are committing suicide right now, and we'll run back, and then you can res them or summon them first. There, uh, everyone who's dead needs to be summoned once once we uh, zone back in. So yeah, multiple PIs on the mage that gets the ignite after they do the first spore. That's going to be key. That's a lot of damage opportunity. That's a good point, Frost. Yeah, you got to be disciplined on them spores too. Not yeah. We got to also be clear and focused. Can't have everyone yelling about them because the healers got to get their coordination down. And it didn't seem like there's a need to move them into the back of the room, so we can kind of just tank them towards the middle. I'll stop moving them pretty early, and that helps the healers too, because they were struggling. So is the score rotation now based on groups? And or? I'll be, uh, I'll probably just start, on some of these attempts I'm going to start using stone shield potions to hopefully have a more realistic representation of damage taken on the tank for all the heals. I'll bake four groups real quick. Just fucking tell Let's everybody. Start summons. Mages Fury locks. Are we sure we don't want to get locks in earlier due to threat reduction? Locks get 20% shadow bolt damage. Mages get the rolling ignite. Fury warriors get extra rage. That's why I said those three classes. Gotcha. I don't think rogues get anything. Hunters don't get anything. And the shadow priest doesn't get anything. Besides double damage, that's a given. You want to get the ignite going as early as possible. I thought you got critical hit chance increased by fifty percent and spell critical by sixty percent. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's for everybody. Yeah. Inks has a point too. Regardless. I, I see what you're saying. Other classes getting a bonus on top of that. I didn't know that existed though. I don't think. Right. I, that's why I asked in guild chat, do rogues get anything when they crit? So I don't know. So it's actually three greater shadows per attempt once we're using them. So you pre-pot, then you do one at two minutes, and then at 340. I'm sorry, two, 210, and then the next one is at uh, 410. So pre-pot, 210, 410 is the shadow pop uh, periods. And then in between those, you're either doing nothing, bandaging, health stone, or whip a root tuber. I don't know which would be useful if we start bringing. Make it easy on warlocks, especially when we're doing multiple attempts. It's basically about a five minute race fight because it, people are going to start taking too much damage at the, around the five minute mark. Five to six at least. Alright, uh, I don't know, are we going to try and do summons or do we need to just try and clear this room again with more organized? Yeah. What? Just put summons in We got our warlock summoned. There's about 15 of us still that are back at the same spot we just previously Burn wiped out. We'll Public radio could get summoned first. So we have five mages, five warlocks, and then we'll have to figure out the third four group real quick. So it'd be Ethnomore, Mad, Teen. And then I'd say, like, Fana and Inks. And then who takes care of it after the first three groups are done? Because they'll all, at that point, you'll have 15 people with the buff, and no one's going to want to deal with the support group. At that point, if you feel like you want it, I guess you can get it. But those three are definitely core groups that have to have it. I would it. say Mages Giving are probably it to rolling can ignites be helpful. on Lothab. Mages need to keep rolling Ignites on Lothab, so that means I would like our Warlocks and Hunters to be the ones to help with the spores. 
Oh, uh, what do you mean you help with the spores? Or I guess, uh, how fast do they die? The, the they have, like, they're just yeah, buffs. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's just a free buff. I thought it was doing damage to us or something. No, no. Okay. Okay, good. So yeah, you don't have to do it too soon. And it's... So yeah, you gotta wait until your whole... All five of your people are over there that are supposed to get it. And they spawn, what, every 12 seconds? Yeah. Last a minute. They last 90 seconds. Longer. Okay. Yeah, it's going to So yeah. then. Well, everyone else in the raid wants it because heals, heals critting means crit heals, you know. Alright, is Reggie coming back? Let's get all of our. Yes, uh, all right, we have a little bit more summons to do. In a second, we'll call for, for uh, all of our free buffs. No consume usage once again. Just got to get this down. We're going to be using our bandages at the proper timer. We can practice that. It's basically, you should be bandaging three minutes into the fight. In yeah, fact, the, the priority is to after... get the three classes up first. Yeah, we're going to end up bandaging at the inappropriate timer because we're not using shadow protection potions. So it's going to require us to bandage earlier in the fight. That's okay while we figure this out. So we're going to be bandaging about two minutes, ten seconds in. We're not buffing till we get everyone here, guys. Let's be a minute. Yeah, that's fine. What about life wealth? I read that the healing isn't nerfed, but someone has to spec it. <laughs> I'm willing to try it. Uh, well, I don't have any gold. Well, yeah, I have enough gold for a spec. We won't try that today, but it's something to consider in the future. Lightwell only heals for five charges. What's the cooldown on it? Ten minutes. So, one, yeah. Worthless. Okay, um, how many more summons do we need? Yeah, I put the Shadow Priest in the tank group, definitely. If we uh, wipe again, someone kept overriding my aura, though. If we wipe again to preserve um, health stones, I probably want to have us run back and just clear the suppression room again. Okay. Yeah, we I keep hitting with them on there. I was reading that. Maintain shards. So uh, let's get everyone's buffs up. Still waiting on some. Yeah, I would like to have all the DPS, like Teen said, uh, to organize and just change groups for this. We don't have to do this temp with the next one I want to. Basically, all of the first groups to get the buff are groups 2, 3, 4, and maybe even 5. I so it, three. Yes. We just call for group number to go get the buff. Yeah, that's exactly how it's set up. Which should be fine. Okay, good. Okay, perfect. Yeah, we have our mages in 2, what Lux in 3. Okay. Put Jim in group two, there's no reason for the healer to be in that group. And then we want all and all of our warriors are just gonna go after the warlocks. So they're not going by group. Group four will not be the next one, they'll just be the five warriors that know what they're doing. Okay. Yeah. Do not cleanse, yeah, it'll block you from Make healing. sure not to kill a spore until you see four bros next to you. I see people just killing it right away because they're impatient. Exactly. Yeah, it's not a race to kill the spore. You need to make sure we have all five of your people next to it, and then you kill it. Alright, tiny bit more mana. We're Let's uh, go ahead and get all the free buffs up that you need. Pro needs fortitude, still group one. I'm showing a lot We're still of missing people. five people. Yeah. Okay, can we get those summons going? We'll swap up to get forever. Qualian, group one. Vlad, group two. Inks, group four. Think nah, group nah, one. So you guys have been doing a lot of summoning. Hour and a half. Let's uh, get some attempts in. I think we can still get a kill tonight. I know a lot of us are hauling consumes ready for this. Group 7 needs an AI please again. Yeah. 
Taladril, Teen, Flesh Sticks, Baikonar, Volnero all need someone still. I don't see any summons out. Come on, guys. Four paladins. Uh, voila. They're working. But yeah, some of them are working harder than others. Yeah, we have a limited amount of shards. A couple of us are out, too. Alright, uh, then head back here and we can get you some. We might have to go kill a little bit of trash. We can practice trash from Gothic to Four Horsemen if we gotta reload on shards. Oh, well, we'll just use this. It's a little suppression room back here. Where are you running to? Over here with the eye stalks and the little grubs. Okay. Little maggots and stuff. Check it out. Yeah, warlocks can pick up pretty cool. easily back there. Just make it quick. You get one? Yeah. Okay, so this guy's naked. Hello. Hello. What'd it do? So Hello, Tip. 11 out of uh, 15. Hiking down. Nice. All these guys respawn, so this is like an unlimited shards. Yeah, good point. Do you need me? Not at the moment, but no, we'll yell at you if we do. I have shadow resist protection potions. Nice, then we will. And Whatever theory we're DPS. We're about, to, yeah. we're about to make a pull, dude, but if we wipe, we'll get you in the next one. We'll find you a spot, dude. Thank for you. For sure. Yeah, for sure. Okay, we should have enough shards. Let's get back. Um, Nito's going to drop a repair buff before this attempt also. Before? Yep, before the attempt. Okay. Drop it on mid bridge then so it stays up. Alright, yeah, I'll drop right here in the big circle. Well, I'll skip your sums out. We'll narrow group one. Alright, repair about back, back here. Two people in the group seven. Bike and I and fight you, please. What? Come here. No, oh, we're here. We're just back here getting repaired. Okay, um, one or two more summons. Finish off all the free buffs. Let's get another dry run in. Use shadow protection, please. That should be all 40 of us. We are now ready to go. Just get your buffs up. Yeah, no consume usage here needed. This is another dry run. Hopefully, one of our last dry runs before we start making roll attempts. But I just want everyone to master the mechanics, master the rotation on the buff, and also um, make sure they're ready to time properly on the when we would be using a potion, when we would be, would be using health potions, etc. So let's have someone go ahead and do a countdown as if we were going to use those things, even though we're not. Like, obviously, we would call for a pre-pod on shadow resist potions now. Wait until it's off cooldown and then make our pull. Or wait until it's about to be off cooldown, I should say. Should we put bubble people? Yeah, we can do some bubbles. Healers, I want to see this or go up in order. Come on. Logie's up. Yeah, so healers, do a rotation of your healing announcement. Reggie, you're up. Reggie, you just wiped this all. He put it in raid chat. Not <laughs> He's got a white bag. Up. He you gotta put slash yell. yell before it. Oh yeah, he put it in raid instead of yell. Yeah, Let's do it in yell. I like yell. People should have chat bubbles turned on, and I'll see it pop up on their screen. That's good. Good job, guys. Reggie, you were out of order. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably just testing these. And then he now moved it in any cool. Okay, everyone uh, should be good. Let's make sure we have all of our free buffs up. Call it if you're missing something. Everyone looks good. We should be able to survive this and like, have white protection up and, and get another attempt in, probably, since we do have unlimited shards behind us. So 
let's keep that in mind. If we're it's gonna be a wipe, try to wipe out that wipe out here, wipe clean. We do have a soul stone. For that reason, I'm just gonna keep him in the middle of the room. I'm just gonna turn him around from where he is. Okay, everyone looks ready. Please step into the room if you're ready. Everyone's gotta get off the bridge. Can't pull until everyone's in the room. Doc, Galadon, Rick, bro. Yeah, he was like he felt really play. early at first, by the way. Um, I'm not sure what's going on, but I'll make sure I'm rage potting. Simulate. Guys. Shit, man, make sure you go with the Warlocks when we roll the second spore. Mage is staying in the group. Rick, Cheesy Druid, you're in the doorway. Uh, Alright, Rick's here. Okay, everyone's in the room. Get ready for the pull. Five second warning. Pulling in three, two, one. Pulling now. Be careful and threat in the beginning. Go class. Group two spores and three, you can head over there. Get some heals up. Wait. Please get away off. from us. Let the ignite fall off. Next spore in six. Group three spores, Next head spores. over there now. It's heading heals up. up, heals up. Low G, keep casting. Make sure we get a thunderclap on too. To go yeah, I cast. Cast has ignite. Off tanks can also. Mages, get away from the spore. Get away from Mages, the spore. You gotta head away. Uh, group no, so you don't have to heal super fast melee. if I'm at full health. Everyone just stops and waits for a healer to group start four, again. Your spores. I'll leave the waiting. Slow on. Alright, I'll leave the go. Five, Serene, Idrid here, Flush, Galadon, Inks. Sorry, she was a bit about me. That's because he doesn't have a threat table. Thank you, Rob. Group six, start heading over to the spore. Ready yourself. Uh, Reggie here. Alter, get over here. Okay, I'm going now. It's too late. Uh, group seven, start heading over. Pi frost. Keep going. Cheesy druid. Cheesy. Cheesy. Bro. I have 15k health. Group eight healers. My last hand wears off in seven, and my life giving two wears off at the same again. time. Alright, pros last right last stand and life giving's wearing off now. Big kills, guys, come on. Group 3, Warlocks. Master heal. First inevitable doom happens in 8 seconds. Let's all bandage after this and see how far. Ganker's we heal, his Ganker's heal, don't heal yet. Group Here comes four, the inevitable Teldra, doom. Nico, teen, mad, Remember, it's not damage yet. Alright, there's the doom. Damage comes in 10 seconds. 2500 to everybody. Get ready to bandage up. Uh, group 5, Serene, Idrid, right, here, Flash, comes Galadon, bandage. Inks. up. You lead a go. Peaceful. So instead of bandaging, that would have normally been a reuse of Ready our shadow. Group 6, Rickroll, so Daxo, Alls group Alter. hopefully wouldn't have taken any damage really. And then on this Doom, we will have... Uh, Fuck, you're up. This, this Doom that goes off in 5 seconds will have consumed our second Shadow Protection Potion. There it is. So that killed a lot of people just because we're not using Shadow Protection Potions. From here on out, we should still have high health because we've chewed through both tombs have chewed through shadow protection potions. And so then on this next tomb that gets applied in ten and goes off in ten after that, we will be in I think it's bandages to get back up. I can, or I forgot if it's pots or bandages. We'll, we'll clarify that. But that's good. We're getting it to fifty nine percent with no consume usage. So the mechanics are pretty simple here. Now that you guys had a better rotation on the buffs, that felt clean. Um yeah, uh, I think I, enough people have bandages ready. See, there's big ways telling us you to bandage for the first time. That was the first bandage indicator I saw. You need to get better at this. Uh, 57% though, yeah, we're, we're pretty close to striking range. Consumes plus uh, shadow protection pods, and uh, we I think we can do this tonight. Healers were like 20 seconds ahead of time, because I had 20 seconds of doing Yeah, that's, that's good. You yeah, want it like great. that. Yeah, there's periods where I was taking no damage for 5-10 seconds at a time and all the healers just, uh, you know, wait. And then it yep. frees up a lot of people to get ready. I saw the spore, like, floating into the range group if it took, like, 
the melee group getting it longer than five seconds. It's just going is that spore doing everything. damage to us? The spore's no, not doing it just, damage. It just like it just floats, runs to people. It just like floats to the main group, so by the time it dies, you can't like say it's on. The yeah, team. you can't control who gets it. I gotcha. But that's so, like, that's. Okay. It would probably be in our best interest to have the raid over here a little bit. Kasara said then... the buff doesn't overlap. You have to wait for it to fall off before renewing it. Wait, so I don't think that's true. I don't think that's, that's not true. true. That's not true at all. True. No, I just I just had it, and my group had to run over, and I couldn't get it. I got well, it because there's times. too many people. Yeah, Maybe, there's more but I was right on top of it. Might have been random for you. It's not based on proximity. It's just. Like random number generator right. based on how many people are in range. We're running back, clearing the gauntlet. Stop rezzing. Back. Stop rezzing. Why? Wait, wait. Going... You just said we're we... running back. We had this. Oh, we have like six people up. Oh, you want us to die? It felt like it would be nah, faster. Fuck that. I'm not back to <laughs> We're gonna have multiple attempts on this boss, most likely. And... Overrule yeah, me if someone else has a better perspective of the situation. But... Get your running yeah, shoes on. Bro, I, I don't think we should have to re-clear that. We have uh, raid wipe and infinite... Uh, I do not charge. zone in then. Nobody yeah. zone in. My bad on the call. If you did zone in, we're gonna summon. Uh, all the people up near... I forget it's pretty easy for all the healers to just uh, reset this. Because the warlocks are gonna be standing back where the priests were. The healers. And also, we can go deep into the room and resonate with everybody, even people yeah. are the boss. Just an unrelated note I see a spot, I see a frozen rune. Wait, where? Uh, oh, on the pillar right about here. There's two in this room. I'll come back for them, man. Or fuck, I, I have them all in the guild bank. What up? Yeah. Okay, is, uh, what you call Glutes, you here? Yeah. You ready to go? Yep. Wait, um, is anyone here not prepared with, uh, Greater Shadow Protection Potions and Bandages? I believe that doesn't have bandages. I have bandages to hand out. Yeah. Oh, that sounds. Is it Hagen down? Hagen's down, dude. Yeah. What's up? Yeah. That is correct. Great job, guys. Well, I'm here if you need me. The last hour. Yeah, only if you need me, dude. I mean. So generous. Trust some attempts at me. I mean, we are already running for five warlocks. I don't know, you got that? <laughs> That's everybody. Alright, uh, we're getting you a spot, uh, glutes. Uh, tanks who don't have Nightfall. We're gonna ask a couple of you to sub out for DPS here. Just for this progression kill, obviously. We can optimize comp and get a couple more DPS, that'll help. This is a DPS race fight, and it's only a one tank fight. Tanks that have a Nightfall will be prioritized over those that don't. Um, we're gonna get uh, flush sticks out of here. Flush sticks, where are you at, right? Did you rest some zoning? Okay. Flush the intelligible will be first too. And I, I know you guys hate to hear that. You guys are always. Hey, Jim, can you throw me a port real quick? Uh, we, we need intelligible for the crit aura, so flush is first to go. Yeah, Gemini's gonna throw a port up so he can get out, then we're gonna get uh, our boy Glutes in. Uh, Fizzle, are you close as too. well? Okay, thank you, Jim, for stopping out. No, 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 oh, 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 Jem is oh, okay. giving him the board. So he can leave, I see. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um... <laughs> Fizzle, you here? Yeah, I need to get some bots, though. Okay. Alright, call for your summons if you need it. I see about seven of us over here in the front, but we're getting them slowly. I just zoomed in. So I need a summon. It's group five. Navi summer, thank you.
Yeah, good point. Next week on Lothab Paladins, we're going to want tier 1 sets. The fast weapon. Uh, are we consuming this time? Um, sure. I think I, we should. That's why not? I think we, we, we got it. Yeah, we just got to get deeper into the fight to start getting the consume rotations down. But yeah, we're, this is going to be a full consume try and pre-pot. Let's get everyone here before we start doing pops. You said this is a full consume attempt? Yes. Shadow pods! Yeah. Big wigs will tell you, but yeah, basically you pre-pot shadow, yeah, and we'll call it out as we go. Pre-pot shadow, two minutes and ten seconds in, you use another shadow. And then on the 240, you do nothing. You just sit that one out. Okay? Because you, that's the first one, you won't even have taken damage yet. Because your pre-pot shadow eats the first one, the greater shadow at 210, that covers your second. And then at 240, um, I'm sorry, that, yeah, the, 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 the 210 eats the first the 240 covers the second, that's why you don't have to do anything after it goes off. The 310, you no longer have shadow protection potions, so after that one goes off, you bandage. Bigwigs didn't tell us when to bandage, an icon popped up on my screen. We can queue off that to tell everybody. Um, the one after you bandage, 30 seconds later you get hit by one, that's when you either health stone or whipper root tuber. So let's make sure everyone gets a health stone passed out. Warlock's probably gonna have to go farm some shards real quick before this full consume attempt. So every single raid member needs at least one health stone, ideally two, one of each rank. After the health stone one, that's when you greater sh uh, shadow protection potion again. That's officially two minutes out, uh, exactly off cooldown from your when your first one went off. So you got to be quick to use it, um, and that's why you use it at the 210 mark. So you spam that greater shadow again. That then so saves you from the second one, so you do nothing. And then after the nothing one, you're going to bandage again. And then from then on out, it's a free-for-all, basically. It's a race to burn them before everyone dies, because you're running out of ways to stay alive. You should use anything left at that point. Yeah, so comms get pretty jumbled on this fight. We need one person calling all that shit out, the pots and the hellstones and the bandages, and we need one person calling out support groups. Everyone out. So is that There's no reason to talk. Here. Can a healer tell me if everyone's here or not? I know people are farming um, shards right now. Yeah, we're just, split. We're just here. Split. Let's start pre potting. I'm outside Nax if you guys need me. Uh, we're full right now, but we'll get in for the next attempt. Cool. I got some pots. Pre pot too. shadow now. Right, let's go back, guys. We're good. A lot of people without shadow protection on. Talking about That's a, a potion. Use your pots, guys. I'm looking at people. I'm gonna try and figure out how to do an aura check right now. Casual raiding. <laughs> Someone Beware. post a list of who doesn't have shadow protection on. <laughs> no seriously, I because we, we have do it we you. have raiders outside the instance that have consumes that are ready to go. It's nothing. No offense to you, but like this is a fight that just requires everybody to use it. We have some to pass out too if people need it. You need I three need per one. attempt, and so everyone should have already used their first one for this attempt. Let's finish off buffs to kings, warriors, etc. I want that word. I don't have no word. You can also kind of get away with health potions, but they're not as good. No, no wait, yeah. Oh, no, wait, no, no. Can I get a health stone, please? Oh, my last health one potion only does stone. have. If 
fine. Let's farm a little bit more shards. Warlocks are out. I don't think Nido has one, and Nabby doesn't. We need more. Um, we have all 40 here. Health unless they need a. Oh, no, okay, we need more health stones, stones passed out. Yeah. yeah, no, I was passing them out when people were farming by the time I got back to go farm. Warlocks, okay. please come back here. Shimmy's coming. Do do. So, dude, big quicks. Uh, the more DPS here, the faster this goes, guys, so come on. Yeah, if you DPS the mag, it triggers big. Or whatever. Just kill whatever the warlocks are focusing. Don't kill it until then. I'm logging out. Tell me when we're ready to pull. Hex, you lost the shadow pot. So much I brain. Alright, let's back up. I got one more trailing. Just kill it. Kill a little babe. Go back to the front. All right, All right so, so just just a note: don't pop a shadow prot before you go over there. So yeah, don't uh, accidentally pre-pot again if you've already done it once. I'm bugging as well. Just let me know. We're pretty doing close. the hellstones. Actually, just any warlock. You gotta trade a random warlock to make sure everyone in the raid has a health hellstone. And uh, also make sure everyone in the raid has used the shadow pot. And full normal consumes. It's a race, the DPS race, very much so. So, um, on the initial pull, I'm probably going to be rage potting, and then after that, I think I'm going to be stone shielding. So remember, you know, the first ignoring me. We'll be using this fight is going to be another shadow protection pot, and that's two minutes and ten seconds in. Basically, after the first day we goes off, it consumes all of our shadow pots. We use another. And then after the next one goes off, we don't do anything because it consumed our second shadow pot. And then after the third one goes off, that's when we bandage. After the fourth one goes off, we health stoned. After the fifth one goes off, we shadow pot again. After the sixth, we do, don't do anything because it consumes the shadow pot. And then we bandage again and we just keep burning and going crazy. And pray. Pray to God we win. All right, let's get everyone online. We're ready for the poll. Team, Ephnamore, Glute Sloot, we're good to go. Who's calling spore groups? Let's get that dished out now. Because need to keep comms clear. Sound like Rippy was just doing good. Yeah, no, that, was that was not me. <laughs> yeah, I think it was. I think it was Galadon or Glorian. Glory. That was me. You guys want to be quicker on that? Head over to there, like five seconds left before the spore even spawns, so you can just snack it. To make okay, sure you gonna, leave the spore area keep, too. I'm not going to keep saying names. I'm just going to say groups. I'll start saying names if I don't see you over there though. Just, de all right. Just ne designate one mage, one warlock. And then, like, mad for the third group that they kill the spore. So nobody kills it early. Make sure everyone has their bandages ready. And their hellstone ready. And their shadow protection ready on their bars. So they can hit all those again and when it's time to use them. Okay, everyone, step into the room if you're ready. Get on the other side of the gates. Do not pull yet, just step in the room carefully. Teen, alright. Deco, Deco, alright, we're good. Remember, on the initial pull here, I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna use a Rage Pod and Blood Rage and uh, go all out on the start. So you guys should be able to back into them pretty hard. But uh, it is a DPS race, just within reason. Make sure we're all focused on KTM and behaving accordingly. Feel the power. Yeah, he brings up a Thanks. good point. Healers, Healers really should have a mana to DPS the boss a little too. Yeah, we will be. Uh, make sure you're done up and demo shout up. I've been trying to work on my Sunder Armor usage. I should be able to contribute a little bit more. Better be DPSing the boss right. healers. Everyone's ready. Boss look good. Mana looks good. Let's get ready for the pull. This is your five second warning on both Eb. Full consume use fight. We've all already greater shadow protection potion. After the first AoE goes off, we'll reapply them. And then we'll start following through the uh, consumable use plan. Bubbles don't do anything for range. 
It's ready to go. Pulling in five seconds. Pulling in three, two, one. Pulling now. Better get some threat. Four and five. Group two, start heading over there. Oh, nice. Good night, drop. Group three, your spores in seven seconds. No, let's start healing. Come on. Too low. Too low. Uh, group four, your spores in five seconds. P.I. Grippy. P.I. Grippy. Group five, your spores next in eight seconds. Keep pro going. Get him up, guys. Ready, ready, ready. Group six, spores in ten seconds. Cheese is up. Cheese. Scorch, scorch. Next port comes in two seconds. The first doom applies in 40 or 55 seconds. About a minute until the damage goes off. That's when we reapply. Group seven. Healers, go get your spore. Make sure you don't use your. Uh, everyone's going to be reapplying Stand Shadow on the spore Protection spore. Potion in about 50 seconds. Kill it. Group eight, right now, your spore's up. Kill it, you got Mage is 10 seconds. Oh, Mage, count. do you want the next one, not this one? Keep from he heals, come on, guys, heal. Mages get this Thrander one. Thrander, go. Mages. Whoever's at the Thrander, go. If you Mages don't stuck. get this one, let me know. You ready to read Doc, you shadow? Doc, you. Uh, Pro needs more health. I already used uh, life giving here. We're Warlocks reapplying Shadow now. The... Warlocks We're reapplying Shadow. Three. That's your spore. Everyone reapply your shadow if you haven't already. The next doom Wait comes for the damage. Wait seconds. for the damage. Oh, I'm sorry, fuck. Yeah, we used Group it too four. early there. I, I used mine too early. God damn. Alright, so now four, you're supposed up, to reapply up. shadow. Thank you for correcting that. So yeah, you gotta wait for the damage to go off. I called it early, but... Group um, 5 now. Now we reapply shadow, hopefully. So this next one that goes off uh, in about 10 seconds. No one should take damage again. Yeah, I guess. Group six, this is us. There's four. Until we're out here. Yeah, a lot of people listen to me, unfortunately. Or didn't have a second one. Alright, so. Reggie, you're up. Reggie. Now, uh, wait until this next one goes off. I'm That's going, when I'm you bandage. Fikey, you're up. Fikey. Uh, wait seven. for big boys to tell you when to bandage. It's until after the damage goes off. Bandage now if you know you're gonna die from this. So. Group eight, this is your spore. All right, here comes the damage in two, one. There it bandage. is, bandage. Your live bandage. I got poison on me. Can't be. Uh, I think this is mages. Render heal. Big kills, that's fun. It is mages. All right, get ready for uh, the health stones are on the next one after the damage goes. You can goes take on. the next one if you want, mages. Heels, come on, dish you. That's supposed to be uh, one bit, whatever. Here's the damage. Right. Health stone. Health stone. Yeah. We are nowhere close. Yeah, it's gonna be a wipe. So Level that's three. right. We're starting to get the idea of how that rotation fucks up, and then that's that's entirely my fault. I I called reapplication too early because you gotta wait until the damage goes off from the debuff. I was just going off my ability to use it, and I thought it was like two minutes, but I need to be queuing off if the. Uh, Doom has done its damage or not, so that's that's on me. That probably killed quite a few people in the beginning. And then, as you see, it's a DPS race. We got to be managing who's getting the the enhancer perfectly, as well as pushing everybody. And then, yeah, in that phase, look at that. We get you. We use a, a shadow and a bandage at the same time. Let's make sure everyone's on the latest big wigs. That's a requirement right now. And then we'll also be uh, passing out. Uh, late, the latest One second, guys. One second. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, so. One thing I'm noticing is uh, the healers that were dying, we weren't catching the fact that they were dead until it was too late. We're getting close. So oh, change, change, change your macros to spam in the heal channel, so backslash 5, because even if it's your turn and you're dead, 
I want you to spam in that thing just so we know that you're you're done and the next person's up. Well, why don't so, we just have, if you're dead and it's your turn, just hit your macro yeah. right away. Yeah, that's, Nobody that's exactly what I'm saying. Dying. But, you, but you, can't yell when, you can't yell when you're dead. So that's why I'm telling you to change it to the yeah. PG Heal channel. Cause you can, the other part will be no one should be dying. So we, this could be if... Uh, well, still, it, it's, it's a simple fix. fix with. Where, Raid wide flasking, and now uh, we might have to. This might be a consumable check for us in some ways, so um, beyond shadow protection potions, that is. That's a fundamental requirement. We got Reza started. We'll, we'll do another uh, attempt on here, uh, full consumes. But yeah, you're seeing the impact of you have to have every single person alive because it's a it's a DPS race. You got to be perfectly managing uh, killing off those things to get the, the five man buffs going. Um, Besides that, healing's improving. Uh, yeah, I can't be having deaths. That's my fault for calling the reapplication of Shadow Protection Potion too early on that uh, cycle. You gotta wait until the damage goes off when the first buff gets applied to you. It takes 10 seconds. Many of us only use two potions there instead of three, yeah, but you'll sometimes be using as mo many as three uh, per attempt. We also have to make sure everyone on the raid has their uh, heavy room cloth bandages going. You only need 225 first aid if you don't have your first aid level. That is a requirement as well to do this boss. So Wait, that's expected. That? Wednesday, if you don't have it, we'll be priorizing people that do, obviously. And we'll, we're, we're in the process of checking for consumable usage when it comes to Shadow on low fed, but I know some of you maybe are new and you didn't know that's a requirement or you weren't prepared, but. Will be a little relaxed, but yeah, bro, you know, in the future, we'll we'll have have to take side of that. And it's also time for everyone to be worried about frost resist for SAF, so it's not. We gotta have everyone focused on building up their sets. Cause it's just another obvious check. Who are our crafters for that? How we have them all can do mail and no more, I think. For Unfortunately, Dispater was uh, cloth, so not sure. Hey, hey, can we get a can we get a port in the back? Uh, Thrander is going to leave. Uh, Fizzlewink, we're going to bring you in. Hey, did, Cass, do you have uh, Exalted? Hey, Doc, we can. Uh, I'll give you consumes for this. I still have thirteen on me for Shadow Pots. Hey, healer. Uh, we're removing Thrandern from the rotation, so after Rylo, it will be uh, Doc from Hell. So, general raid question. Um, the poison debuff knocked off my ability to do recoil. Well, don't zone in. So, I noticed that too, you gotta run away from the boss. And then... Okay, so if you run away from the boss, then you can rune cloth bandage and it'll work the whole way and then pretty much. Yeah, because you're not just yeah. the nature damage. Okay. Wait till the poison debuff wears off and you can do it. Alright, we're covered by it. Alive, so we gotta get reses or some, or reses are dumb, but we just gotta work on summons for anyone who had to run back. Um... Jim, you, you gotta run back, we can't risk it. Just, just stay back. We don't. Pretty much when the debuff goes on you, run out of melee range, and it should line up to where it ticks you, and then you can immediately banish because the poison will be off. Well, thanks for it, everybody. I honestly didn't level first aid because I didn't think I'd get into it. No problem, man. Uh, go do it now. It's perfect timing. Thanks for coming. Will do. See you awesome. around. That was and hey guys, so we have uh, an hour left here. If this, if we're not end up uh, going to be prepared on, you know, protection potions for for Lotheb, we can go work down the trash and get a uh, four horsemen. I think in. I think uh, ninety eight percent of us probably have our mats. I think that was an issue with timing. Um, some of us probably that's true were. as well on the reapplication timing, but that we weren't in striking distance. But that could have been just because of the deaths we had early. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, also, down to this push, so. I think there was an issue with uh, healers, and um, if we are new macros, we'll fix that. So we can adjust when one of us dies. I know we're not supposed to die, but obviously it's happening anyway. All right, let's get your summons if you need it. We're not re-clearing the room. And uh, we might have to have war assist warlocks and resharding. We thank you guys for your service. We have 45 or 55 minutes left in the night. Let's uh, get a couple more attempts in.
Uh, Fizzle has like 50 shards, so... Yeah. Depending on how this next attempt goes... Oh, that'll be interesting. I think it's important we... We gotta start. see it, yeah. We yeah, gotta yeah see you it. gotta start seeing these things if you're gonna build on it. Have progression. Let's fucking do it! This is honestly just a consume check. It's a really easy fight. It's just... Yeah, the really? it seems like most people have the mechanic down already, and there's no... Is there a 30% of the rage? I don't think there is, is there? No. It's just a 5 minute, 5 to 6 minute timer, basically, because of all the AOEs going off. Yeah. It's inevitable dooms. But yeah, it's just a consume check against doom, so that'll also be useful when we have world buffs if we progress to them and we... Come in like on a Sunday night on low tab. Oh no. Inevitable doom will inevitably wipe the raid. I need me a wank stone. Who's got the improved wank stone? A lot of them do. Uh, I do. I need a Can fizzle wank. Can I play use well so you only get the fizzles? Shit. Uh, we got six warlocks now. Coming back. Thank you, Fizzle. Beware. Fuck Uh, did Doc log, or is he still here? I have, I can trade Doc three shadows. These things aren't cheap, but uh, they're a requirement for this fight, so everyone's got to focus on these. How much are they? Like seventeen gold apiece. Very wildly unpriced, but the shadow pot requires seventeen. Uh, no, they're like thirty-five gold a stack. It's yeah. four grave moss and four um, eight gold each. That? About what grades the shadow oil? Four fade leaf grade and grave moss. moss. Yeah, four fade leaf and grade, four grave moss. Yeah, that can grave easily be hard to get and hold for those. So you need a eight. stack of each of those to get a and stack then you need a, of potion. You need, yeah, four and four that makes one shadow oil. You know, a shadow oil and a drape oil to make a potion. Get a so you need grave moss and RFD. Per, so you can get Grave Moss in, uh, in, uh, Graveyard of Zen too. Raven Hill, the Graveyard of Wetlands. 30 gold in attempt, basically, best case scenario. But if you're using all three, you should be. So that's the other reason I don't just want to bang our heads up against this if we're not ready consumable-wise. This is the reason yeah, we have to go so we'll figure it out by next week if this is a good check so let's make sure everyone's pre-pot already um, if you don't have it ask for one we want to get the whole rate using these consumes even if you're borrowing from someone else and we you have some that doc from home you need to be pre potting one and then you use two more throughout the fight there's corruption here warlock corruption he locked off because he didn't have consumes i think yeah okay is it anyone outside of naxxramas with consumes ready to go Okay. Okay, Welcome to the gold sink. Alright, well, we'll do this attempt without you and we'll get you to the next one. Doc, you here? Doc's here. Is it time to consume up, boys? Mm. Alright, move Fizzlewank into group 3. Move Lua into group 6 and move all through into group 8. Makes sense. This is relogging. Seconds to get UI fix. I guess Doc's not getting the buff. Look at what groups you are in because I will be calling out what groups are going. Oh, you're calling them? Okay. Yeah, you kind of forgot, so I figured I'd just do it. Well, we were falling apart, so yeah, that was my bad. Yeah, no need to panic. Yeah. 
thanks so much to everyone, guys. I'm sorry I didn't know that we're gonna be doing a long tip tonight. No, we're good. Right, pre, pre plot your shadows if you haven't already. Is this logging back in now? This is your last call for pre potting your shadow protection potions. We also want to get all other consume usage in. Likely our last attempt here, depending on how this goes. Because we're gonna kill him. Eat and drink. If only we had Vampiric Touch and five Shadow Priests. Vampiric Touch doesn't work. It removes it. People used to like two or three mana, but you could five mana at least. <clears throat> Priests, buff your groups. Five mana with four Shadow Priests and a tank. It was four man by death and taxes back in the, back in the day. Alright. Everyone's going to be reapplying their Shadow Protection Potion, but not until they take damage from the first curse. I'll make sure to clarify that. We won't rush into reapplication. Re uh, can we do, get a check on everyone who... Make sure everyone's used it. If you don't have it, Trade Pro, or I know a couple other uh, of us can afford to hand out three. We literally need every single person with this. Gotta be chugging these Shadow Pots. Three. Oh, yeah. okay. Use one now, and then you use another one two minutes in the fight when we call for it. And you'll, if we live long enough, you'll use the third during the fight as well. But you use one ahead of time so you get it lasts an hour, two minute cooldown though for all your other potions. So get that going right now. Rick Roll, do you have shadow pots? Yeah. Why don't you have one on? But I pre-potted. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Everybody check. Pre pot make sure you identify the shadow one. It looks like that, uh... Looks, looks like demon like armor. Yeah, yeah, I guess it's demon I, armor. <laughs> it kinda looks like a puck face. I had a confused like prayer. Thanks, 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 do you have shadow pots? Is everyone in the raid? Or in the room? Okay, I see it. <gasps> it's not the greater one, though. Yeah, uh... I'm just going to say now, you can't people... use the cheap protection potion. Not for today. I'm talking for the next week. You can't use the small ones. You have to buy the big ones for the next week. Can confirm because I was using those in our trial run. Doesn't do much. <laughs> Don't worry, the bank of grippy will make sure to put them on the auction house for you. Yeah, I mean, the, I, I see the just about everybody be better with than We're pretty ones. loaded, guys. So, everyone, make sure you have your consumes, have all the buffs you want. Let's get ready for the pull. We all know our job. Very simple fight. Just got to time the consume usage properly and have everything. Let's also make sure everyone has heavy room cloth bandages ready. I have 30 in case someone needs one. Just trade Pro Blazer. Also, trade your Warlock. Make sure everyone has their health stones ready. Double check. Make sure you have your uh, uh, nice, nice spam fizzle. <laughs> Hellstone and uh, healing potion. A wankstone. We'll also be farming some two, uh, whipper root probably heading into next week. So um, I think everyone's good. You've had plenty of time to pre pot. Don't accidentally use it again if not, uh, if you don't need it. I have 49 minutes left on mine. Everyone's ready. 45 minutes left on raid night. Let's get a Lothep kill in, guys. This is very achievable as long as we use our consumables, consumables properly. I'll be rage potting for the first one and then probably stone shield potion after that. Um, on the initial pull, give me about 2-3 seconds, but uh, assuming I don't have a miss or anything, you should be able to land them after that. Um, one thing, range or main, main raid that's stacking with the range. If you see the spores start coming towards us and in your group is enough, just strafe to the left. Get away from them. Gotcha. All right, I'm gonna blood rage ahead of time. Hot pro. We're actually, uh, we have like five seconds after the pull, after we get in combat, before the thing yeah. appears. Okay, everybody ready? I'm pulling in five seconds. This is your warning. Get ready for the pull. Lothep coming. Pulling in three, two, one. Pulling Lothep. Make sure everyone has your battle shouts up, demo shout up if you're an op tank, get a thunderclap on them. So good. 
Eels is just gonna heal. Next port in five. We should not be letting him get down to 10%. Guys. Start healing a little earlier. Top the tank off. There it is. Group four, come on over. No. Yeah, group four, Fury Warriors. Start casting your heal. Group, group five, five is next. Group five, move out. Reggie? Should only be four of he you. He was, come on, pay attention. Group six is next. Eight seconds. Don't heal unless you have to. And also stay in line. If you group don't six, have to heal for a while, six. everyone backs up. All three the next one. Stay grouped, kill it. Healer group, group seven next. Group seven on diamond. Don't kill it till we're all here. Group seven, you're missing one. It's fine, just, just kill it. Judge light. Just came out, dude. Group eight. That's up to you. Judge light on the boss. Please judge light up, kill it. So we have about 30 seconds until we gotta use our consumable. Remember, do not use it when you Mages get Mages are up. next. You gotta wait until the debuff wears off. That's when you get the damage Mages and go that's when reapply. So everyone cautious. Keep doing what you're doing. Good pace so far. Warlocks are next. This is heal. Pro G heal. Good job. Shadow law heal. Your warlocks, break it. Right. We're gonna, in about 10 seconds, we're gonna reapply. Fury warriors are next. Here comes the damage. Let the damage hit. Fury warriors, get over there. Yeah, reapply now. Okay. Everyone reapply shadow. Break it. Everyone in the raid, reuse your shadow potion now if you have it not already. Group five. Who's got ignite? Five. Five. Oh, Guys, you okay. do Remember, five. if you have the Missing debuff, people. you don't have threat. Okay. Good thing I'll lie to you. Here's Group the six next. is next. Don't do anything. After this, we're gonna absorb this damage, hopefully, without having to do anything. All thank you. Great job. A lot of consume usage that. Alright, so this next one that goes off now, we're gonna bandage afterwards, I believe, but wait until uh, KTM tells you. Melee go out, so you can bandage. Melee out now. Doc you. The doom is about that was group Disney seven. Seals. Group seven was supposed to go. I can argue. Here comes the doom. Group eight's right. next. Damage is coming in eight seconds. Alright, we went out a little early, but. Yeah, group, group eight's eight. next. Group eight. Group eight, kill that sport. Guys, get away from me. Mages are next. Now. Everyone bandage up. Melee run out and bandage. OG, shadow lock. Mages are next. Everyone has to bandage up here. Break it. Alien again. Warlock Reggie group. here. Warlock group now. Alright. Damage Warlock is get it. Six seconds. You're gonna health stone after this damage occurs. Group 4. Or health potion. Hellstone, health potion. Group four, come on over. Next is group five. All three kill. Right, low heal. Reggie Dally to death. Group six. Yeah, that's gonna be a wipe. And then at this point you would re don't reapply here. But yeah, but you would be reapplying and bandaging at the same time. So you can make it to this point, then you get to reapply your shadow protection potion, which completely negates one of the dooms. You know, that gives everyone a bit of a reprieve. Also tops you up there. So the key is making it that far into the fight. At that point we just got to. If everyone's still good, you basically just then just try to burn them and especially. Big knights only. Right? And then yeah, you can't trust your KTM because if you have that buff, uh, you your attacks don't cause threat. But I don't think KTM's catching that, so it's still counting all your hits. Uh, so um, let's all run back. That's it for tonight on uh, Lotheb. We're gonna clear trash and get a four horseman attempt in before we call it. Still 40 minutes left on the raid night. This is important practice for us, not only on the trash ahead of us between um, Gothic and uh, Horseman, but. Uh, making sure that we practice clearing you know all the trash in the entire instance after we're done with tonight and get our first feel of uh, the horseman rotation that we're gonna have to start practicing in master
I have a. Why did you pull melee out? That was probably a miss pull. I, I guess at one point, whenever melee it was, was so they could bandage. Uh, yeah, so they, they have bandage. to pull out so they can bandage. They get a nature aura debuff if they're right next to them. So. Also, we'll make sure everyone's on the proper big wigs and has plenty of uh, of the consumables necessary because that's a pretty simple fight once you uh, get everything down. And I think everyone did a great job on shadow protection usage. I think we, it's obvious there the difference. You know, it projects you another several cycles into the fight automatically by just having greater shadows. They're expensive as shit to use, but you gotta do what you gotta Deep do. Swap to farm. Just farm it. Real cheap. You can also get that Dark Moon Fair trinket. And then, yeah, Judgment sustains melee. Um, so here we're going to head to, um, as if you're going to Resuvius, so uh, Southwest. Thanks. We have a spot open. Do we want to redo groups? I enjoy progression night. Is there anyone outside the instance that's want, that needs, wants to, we need to get tanks back in for horsemen? Okay. So if Flesh is still out, he needs to be in here. Um, if Axe is out, he needs to. Axe is already in. Hey, give me a second to get back on. Even if we don't have the right enough tanks for horsemen, we're still clearing to him. But yeah, I think we're good. We have Qualian, Pro, Flesh. Let's just one shot him. Taladrill. There. So we have our normal four. And then we have Teen, Hefnamore, Glute, and Axe Killer. Nice. Yeah, we're so we're set on the eight tanks. We're golden. And I think most of them have reels. Not everyone does, but a very healthy amount of us do. Like 80%, 90% maybe. We know the tactics now. Everyone knows what to do. We have to slightly get better at the coordination of the groups. Yeah, so it's consume farm timing for <laughs> yeah and for it's a consume farm. Yes. What Everyone about jungle jungle to... remedy? Wouldn't would it help the jungle no, remedy? I'm not sure. And that I guess if your tryhard consumes, you prepot nature too, right? Because of the melee yes. prepots nature Me due to the aura. Whenever you're damaging it. melees, do prepot nature. That's gonna be yeah costly, but good thing elemental earth dropped in price so. And then we may have to use um, Zanzas and like make sure we have flasks up on key people there, and that's going to be a consume check fight for us. It's pretty simple to execute though. You just got to make sure everyone has consumes every week for it. Man, this place is really expensive. End mm -hmm. of game, dude. Feels good though. We we've, we've experienced most of the knacks now, so we're in the final pieces. It's going to be fun to get a four horseman pull in. I can't wait to war immediately. We're gonna one we got a buff. We got a buff. We'll unbuff in like five minutes. No one's even grouped up yet. So this trash, for the most part, we have uh, four packs of the ghouls. Uh, we have uh, the uh, spirits that I have solo, and then we have a couple of new mobs that get introduced. Cavaliers, but it's something else. I forgot the name of it. Death Lords. No, we've seen Death Lords before. Yeah, but Cavaliers the same thing. We can shackle these ghouls, so these are quick to cut through once we're all here. Go ahead and get some rebuffs and just do some free ones. Then we have some Alkalites up there. It's all pretty similar stuff that we've been dealing with. It's going to be easy. Finish buffs and uh... So basically, Someone... I'll start talking about the horsemen a little bit. There's obviously four of them. They get tanked in four different corners of the room because each one of them has like a fire maw like mark. Um, they're all original. Uh, basically, uh, 
it's after a period of time that mark starts stacking and then after people get like three stacks you want to start rotating and even the tanks have to rotate so the hardest mechanic of this is having four tanks on the horsemen in all four corners and then four more tanks ready to rotate in for those and everyone shifts back to like the safe spot and you let your stacks drop off and then you step back in to rotate a different tank out um after a hundred marks go off where all the horsemen drop a mark every eight 12 seconds i forgot what it was but uh then uh, they enrage, and so it's there's a kind of a hard enrage cap about a hundred mark in. It, it, that takes a long time though. That can be twenty minutes, I think. Um, whenever a horseman dies, uh, her spirit summons out, and they stay in place and keep giving out marks, but they don't move. So you just uh, don't go near them, and you just leave that corner alone, obviously. At uh, fifty percent HP and twenty percent HP, they shield wall. Uh, so each mark acts like the fire mod debuff. First horseman mark is applied at 20 seconds. Horsemen reapply their marks every 12 seconds. It's possible that uh, every 12 seconds when mark mark uh, hits all player aggro on horsemen are reduced by 50%. Uh, I'm not sure if that's accurate or not. Uh, but basically, um, you've got to stay easy on DPS when tanks transition. Because there might be a threat reduction mechanic on top of having the tanks on the swap. Um, Mark damage does like 0, 250, 1,000, 3,000, 5,000, 6, 7, um, which you can only stay in for 7 marks maximum. Any more is almost certain death, but I don't think we want to push it that high when we do rotations. Um, the marks last for 75 seconds since it was reapplied, and then the timer resets. It has a range of like 65, 70 yards. It can be out distance to drop the buff. It applies regardless of line of sight. Nothing can remove the marks, and uh, nothing can reduce them. And then each boss kind of does his own thing. One of them does Meteor, one of them does Holy Wrath, one of them does a Void Zone. Um, can't stand within it, and then one of them does like a Righteous Fire. And that's pretty much the fight, so everyone in the raid, they'll, we'll link some graphics. There's basically a safe spot in the middle of the room, and then the four corners that uh, everybody has to move to and tank and then we move throughout the corners as we go. Let's go ahead and pull this. some of this. If we have a hunter pull, we can grab this spirit. Or we'll just uh, grab a ghoul. Yeah, just step up and grab ghouls. Uh, okay, we got the spirit from across rooms. Be careful on the pullback. Get ready to have silences. No, no, can we get no, a range no, no, silence? No, 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 a counter spell no, 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 right no. now? Otherwise, just him, move around. Don't let him pull the ghouls. There you go. Hopefully that uh, portal doesn't yeah, grab the uh, ghouls. My bad. Shackles, shackles, shackles. That was my shackles. bad, guys. Just stun. You can stun and do silences. Alright, so then we're gonna have shackles here on the four Keep shackles. Oh, Jesus, I didn't know ghouls were in this. How did I miss that? They weren't. The, <laughs> the portal aggro them. See him run by. Dodge the ghost. Ghost coming for you. Stay away from the ghost. Get moon after. Skull. Skull. Reshackle on square. Oh, close, got it. That's the next thing, anyways. Square's next, reshackle. Uh, so, uh, good job. to know if he drops a portal in the outer ring, it'll lag uh, really close. Next dishes. Alright, a few reses. We got another ghouls, four crack, four pack. My question is, do we need to pull all these trash? No, but yeah, I might as well. And I just want to be safe on our first time through here, so we have plenty of room to operate. I got moon. And these are easy to kill. It's, uh, all right, yeah, the rest are offline. Let's go ahead and pull oh, three shackles. I'm gonna pull this way. I'll get X. Bro, there's a death knight then you can- oh, yeah, no, they don't yeah, walk all the way in. This is the that. outer ring, so you Shackles, kill please. everything. Good job, everyone on school now. Did you say yes, you kill everything? Yeah. Okay. Or servers. Oh, I get it. I don't think trash should ever respawn. The outer ring stuff does. It shouldn't. Yeah. It should be tied to the bosses and stuff that it's in. Did the like, gothic 
did the gothic trash respawn? No. No. So, so that room that we that room that we just buffed in, that's where I run right to that corner every time when I pull the suppression room. I can run all the way to this entrance, yeah. but I can't run any farther. I don't know why the last time when I get in and try to get the room, the trash before gothic was up. Two alkalites and there's patrols that come up between them, so when we pull them, make sure we're in between the patrol patrols and we jump on them quickly. Maybe we just spread up. these out and stun them and can pull silence them now. and interrupt, right? I'll take left. I'm on skull. Pauline's got yeah. right. range. Max range. I want to pull before ads come. Pulling now. Back him up. Back him way up. All right, side. Backing up. Inks. You need to Inks. Run. Like that tank's up. not even close because I'm trying to back him up. You guys should keep not be. Keep backing up. Keep backing up, Colin. I want to X now. You can silence. Counter spell on warriors and improved kick, improve shield back. Here comes, here comes Daddy. All right, so back up. Here comes the D. The controls we have to deal with here. We have the plate gargoyles, and we have a Death Knight Vindicator that comes with a Necro Knight Guardian. A couple of them, I think. So, what does this Death Knight Vindicator do? Does anyone know? Glorian, can you back up, please? Yeah, I was just seeing down there. I don't know what they do, but I know the Necro Knights are the ones that blink. So. But these might be different, actually. So two guardians. Why just grab those gargoyles? And then those gargoyles. So oh, the gargoyles are the thirty percent push ones. We got to be ready for that. I'll They're throw a mark on. Currently them. patrolling right on top of the others. So let's uh, spread pre for that. Um, they have the same abilities as cavaliers. Gargoyle, but just different name. Same as death. Right, so back up, guys, because what we just go, saw go, is their go, patrol go, patterns. Go. We can go grab the gargoyles if you want. If there's a timing, oh, if there's an opening here, then. It's fine. Big wet pussy. <gasps> Big grab wet pussy. If you want to pull these alkalites off, just grab yeah, them. A hunter not... can grab them. They're coming back already. No, they're not. Grab if you want to pull the alkalites, do some. No. Right, here comes the gargoyles are coming back. I don't, I don't want to. I'll do. So we'll have to pull, right, pull these them into way the room that we're Remember, in. we just saw those patrol patterns, so we want to pull these gargoyles yeah, they, all the way back into this room. Yeah, they patrol out the bay of back. We right, can go ahead and pick them up and run them back, Connor. Please. Back up to the middle of the room. Back up to the middle of the room. We will. Let me grab those right now. And we can stack them on top of each other. Can the hunter please grab them? Why? Well, they will right, come to you, pull bro. Back. Yeah, they're gonna come here. Anyways. Start DPS now. We're done. Pop up school on X. The big money! That's done. Priest POH here. Alright, here's 30% push on skull. Burn. Excuse me. 30% push on X now. Yeah. Don't move. Don't leave. Watch out for the star. Back up, the star. Reginald. Reginald. Oh, Doc. Oh, wait, you're fine. Doc ain't scared. Nobody can see. Yeah, I ain't scared. Pussy. Always ready. It's my second name. Alright, we need mana. Hold on. So these Vindicators do Arcane Explosion, Blast Wave, they Blink, they do Cone of Cold, Flame Strike, and Frost Nova. Talking about the, the same necros, ones, aren't you? Mages. So these Vindic- uh, the, the, his two accomplices, they die quick, they can be stunned, I believe, the Necronite Guardians. So we gotta burn them down first. Skull and X. The, the Vindicator does the Death Coil, the Cleave, and the AoE Dot, Curse Agony. So do we wanna move the Vindicator off to the side, or we just gotta we deal with him? You can. I would tank him right where he's pulled at, like at the top of the stairs, and then pull the other two back. Yeah. So, Curse of Agony, that can be decursed, right? Uh, no. The cleave, obviously, we got to face him away. It's a three-target cleave. And actually, it looks like it's inflicts weapon damage plus 10 to an enemy, and it's nearest to allies, affecting up to three players. So it may chain, so uh, just everyone make sure you're away from pro. I'll be off to the side, max distance. And then the, he's got a death coil, the, uh, the Cavalier does. Um, it's a three second death coil thing, as always, so um, that heals him as well. 
It's a, like a vampiric for the damage caused. Uh, let's just make sure we have multiple tanks ready for the death coils that go off. So uh, that's going to put Pro and Qualion then on the, uh, the the mounted guy. And then that puts Flesh and Taladril on the, uh, the Necro Guardians. So Flesh, you can grab Skull. Um, in fact, let's mix it up. I'll be on Skull. And then uh, let's have Flesh and Qualion on the Vindicator. Taladril on X. Okay. So Pro on Skull. Taladril on X, and then Flesh and Qualion on the Vindicator. You can just move the Vindicator off to the side. Make sure you guys uh, just one tank uh, stands uh, and faces them away from everyone, max distance. Other tank stands in the range, and you guys swap back and forth. So Quell, Quell first on the Vindicator. All right, everyone ready? Burn the skull big time. Here it comes. Oh, get him. Boy. It's done. Get on Skull and X. These Stuns ones are not immune to silence. silence. Yeah, you got a counter spell and silence. Spread out. Proof kick and proof shield bash. All right, X now. Move over to X. Get get the just keep the uh, vindicator away from us and keep you, you can uh, when the vindicator is about to reapply. Like right, no, I missed it. In about one no, second, no. silence the vindicator. Silence now. It'll reset stacks. Silence them. It's a beautiful stacks reset. Now everyone on the vindicator. And then you can reset stacks just by uh, yeah, silencing them about two seconds before the end of it. This one do the aura? Yes. I, I don't understand, so... Alright, get ready to reset silence now. Alright, good job. That was easy. Um, no deaths. Keep healing. Alright, step up. Why don't you? Off lights. Are you able get to, to skip the, this uh, round? The, the death hounds finally. I don't know if you can skip it or not. I'm pretty sure. I mean, their, their entrance is right through it to the left, so... You definitely have to be going to do these alkalites, so let's get everyone topped off and ready. I'll take the right side. Right. We can Pulling do the same light. thing as we do in spider wing by skipping the next room, hugging like, the wall. There, go to the right. Or to the left. Are you sure? It's the same one. Yeah. Let's uh, let's send a hunter or somebody expandable to try it. <laughs> I'll be the Lewis. You want to be Clark, Idra? Or do you not understand the reference? <laughs> no. I'll be Shaq. Uh, so you're gonna get raped and pillaged? <laughs> nah, it's gonna be. Okay, everyone else move so away. Are we gonna go left? Ideally. It's to the right. It's to the right. To the right. Okay, that makes sense. It should be. It's not to the right, the entrance is to the left. I just want to see if you'll pull the, the ghouls. The ghouls are the only variable. Yeah, you yeah send one guy, see if he passes them, we'll leave. Like you can go we could kill no. those, we could uh, pull the next two alkalites back, I guess, or do we run them into that opening? So we'll do we run all the alkalites past where they're at? 100%. Right, let's just try, let's everyone stack up on pro. Wait until the ghouls walk around, and then we're gonna so, move over to where it's freaking Ricky kill and, uh, them, it's so easy. Oh, like damn. Team, you can go now if you're ready. has made his way. All the way around to the other side. Just be careful of the patrol here. Don't be a pussy. Right Wait, why are you guys going left? Because it's yeah, left, you right. retard. God. Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. We can have some hard hard. It is left. Mama raised no bitch. Is this 2017? Stay down here for the patrols, basically, once you're over with pro is. They went left, pro. Doesn't matter which side we're on. We can just group up who's here. Eat a biscuit. Yeah, once we get to the other side anyways, we still have to go into the center. So we're going to grab these two guys, and we're going to walk them towards the four horsemen door. It doesn't matter that which room. way we go. Uh, from what it looks like, there's no other patrols for us to worry about. We have plenty of room once we get in there. So it doesn't matter which side we come from. Just make sure everyone's topped off before we engage. So everyone step on the other side of the river. Stack tight against the door. Don't ass pull. Bandage yourself if needed. Full health, full health. There's arcane explosions we deal with here, so we need everyone in high health before we pull. When we do pull, we're going to be moving towards X. I'll grab Skull and move it over there. And we're going to wait and watch where the patrols are at, and we're going to hug the wall as tight as possible. Those death towns are right there. A little bit more health. Yeah, summon him in the slime. It's better than summoning him into the. Someone else click the summon before we pull. Click it. Click 
Clark at? But I don't want to get in. Not in where I'm standing. Look at this. I'm knee deep. Wait, how hard? I got it on my way out though. That's weird. Alright. Top off pro for a second. Alright, a few more top offs. Let's get ready for the pull. We've wasted enough time. Uh, patrols look favorable for now. Everyone's ready. I'm gonna grab Skull. You guys grab X. We'll move into the room a little bit. Kill them next to each other. And uh, actually space them out a tiny bit just to avoid the arcane explosion. Remember, hug the wall tight. I'm gonna wait for this uh, ghoul patrol and then we're gonna pull as soon as they pass. Hey, bro. I'll wait until they pass for the other group as well. I'm not sure how close they come actually, but it's not worth it. They're trying. They walk behind. <sighs> they walk in front of the dogs. Do oh, not yeah. go while the ghouls are there. Okay. Yeah. Now they're walking away. Everyone so ready? Long. Pulling in three, two, one. Hug super tight. Go now. We have a lot of room to work with once you get in. Good job, everyone. Whose ghoul will die first? Careful not to pull the other acolytes. X team sucks. We shouldn't have been letting DPS All three people on it. Yeah. We're at fucking four horsemen, guys. Oh, it's by a door! We have three spots to fill if we can. Yeah, let's get a few spots five. filled. Now uh, we're gonna have to <laughs> here. Discord real quick. Discuss assignments real quick for each corner. Get our, if you have tank gear, please uh, equip it and step up over here to the left. Everyone oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah. I'm right, let's do it. Yeah. Grab him. One shot. <laughs> a lady. I got the bitch. <laughs> you you son mind. of a bitch. Who was that? Oh, they barely Bro, hit at all. Yeah. They're super weak. Forgive me. I'm the first <gasps> to die to the horseman. Close the blast door. They're supposed to be super weak. Ah, oh, oh, shit! <laughs> Bring more friends. Get yeah, the eyes out. Hard. <laughs> I was getting hit for a 1k. Serge Zalek hits me for 2.3. Drain only hit me for 900. Morgrain hits me for 700. Oh, they're coming! No! The righteous Fire for Morgrain hits me for 2k. The right the guy, we do, drop we might want to put on some fire resist depending on boss. We died. My so we'll is on my left. So we look at those marks. The look at those marks. Yeah. Don't oh, the room. Get everyone rezzed. I'm gonna release, I'll get summoned. Uh, don't oh, rest. I'm gonna wait until my marks are gone, because I think that's what's putting people back into combat. What a fun fight. I got a great pick. Alright, some marks last. Stop, you gotta run back. Stop. Stop, I'm back. We're gonna have to kill that patrol, um, just so we have plenty of time to room. I guess we don't have to. We can just group up on the left. The patrol doesn't go far into that room. Just have to be cautious of it. They stand in this dark circle. I think it's good for you. Defend oh no! Who keeps pulling? <laughs> if you stand in the dark circle, that's what pull them. Okay, from. please don't stand in the dark circle. It sounds really bad when you say it out loud, but you guys should. I know, it doesn't it? From the door. Black hole, son. Want to come? The experience the door. on that trash. That's die. the good news, guys. It's over. <laughs> You can always just run out of the room and reset it. Safe. It's okay, son. Grippy, get your mic away from your nose. I haven't been this scared since I took that trip to San Francisco. Sorry, I'm Jewish. Alright, get your summons if you need it. If you died inside, let's get everyone grouped up again. Redo buffs. This time we'll di link the diagram while we do this. Discuss how this pull works better. Where are you linking it? God, that comes really close. What's def cap? 440. Eh, close enough. 
<laughs> 440. I, got, I only got 420, though. Hey, baby, that's all you need. Oh. This should have defense on your gloves. Discord, please uh, view the wiki that I'm looking at now. That's the original version. All I see is a picture. And also reference that second link I just posted. That's a specific of uh, how the orientation is when we enter the room and which boss is which. So basically, there's a safe spot there in the middle, kind of right in front of where they're standing. That's where everyone in the raid will run back to to drop their stacks uh, before they run and get engaged in the next one. So they all have different abilities. They enrage after they cast 100 marks collectively. Um, when everyone dies, he summons a spirit in his place. He stands there and does the same thing he was doing, so everyone stay away from there. They shield wall at 50% and 20%. All four of them do. And their marks act are unique, and they act just like the fire mod debuff. The first mark applied at 20. They reapply every 12 seconds. I believe we want to wait until three marks to do our swaps. And then if we have a taunt resist for one of the tank combos, then you just wait uh, 10 seconds and then do it again. And then the tank can swap out. He just gets a couple higher marks before he runs back to the safe spot, essentially. Um, the marks do increase damage each stack, 0, 250, 1,000, 3,000, 5, 6, 7, etc. Um, so we want to be subbing out around the 3 to 4 mark phase, and then we use that as a buffer in case we have a resist, and we can wait 8, 10 seconds, then do another taunt, and do a swap out just late. Still accomplish it, though. It has a range of 65 to 70 yards, so we got to tank them in each four corner pretty deep, and then pull back to the middle. Um... We had talked about nothing removing the marks. So each one has a different ability, and they, a couple of them have a lot more health than the others. Um, Thane and Morgane, uh, Morgrain, they have the most health, 600k and 500 plus k respectively. Sir Zelik, 230, and Lady has 290. Uh, so does anyone know, do we burn the low health ones first? Do you burn Sir Zelik? We always killed in Wrath, killed the uh, Thane first. and High Lord. You yeah, you always red. kill, yeah. Green and Red. I have marked them correspondingly with their raid targets. To their gotcha. Targets. You really want to kill Thane first because you have to have a DPS rotation going for Meteor. Yeah. And then after Thane's dead, I mean, DPS can kind of you know do their own thing at that point. And so for the tank swaps, the tanks, it's just uh, two per corner, and they just sw sub that in and out, right? The tanks don't actually rotate around the room, do they? Uh, do right. We, this... I, well, I believe it's just two per corner, right? And they sub in and out. That's an easier way of doing it instead of six and doing like a uh, yeah, swap. We, we have the gear on eight warriors. We have, we're ready for it. So I was just planning on two tanks per corner and they just sub in and out. One's at the safe spot, one's in the corner, and then they rotate tank taunts and the other runs out. And you do it quick enough so that if you have a taunt resist, you just stand there and everyone get, takes an extra stack and it's not the end of the world. So each horseman's taken into his own corner and tanked there. Um, it's possible to have... Uh, so some people say... Uh, yeah, with eight tanks, I say you just rotate in and out one one. But I think others' guides will... And depending on timing, it may be necessary to have tanks like rotate between a couple corners. So rotation yeah, it's two, is key. It's two per corner until one of them goes down. Gotcha. And they just sub in and out. And it's about a 50 yard range you gotta time it properly with. So yeah, you gotta run in right after it goes off, get your taunt, let the other tank be running out so he doesn't get another stack or too many more as he runs out. Yeah, you pretty much wanna like, uh, intercept in. Okay, and so let's get our two tanks per corner sign now. Uh, if you're tanking, uh, this time, uh, we gotta avoid the patrol that's coming, so let's just back up a little bit and, and, and line up on this ledge if you're tanking. Put your tank gear on, um, line up where Pro is, just spread out so we can see everybody and do the assignments. Check my picture. Brown, brown, so brown. We only want to do eight. We need the DPS from other Furies. So, Doc Fizzle, Shemmy, can you guys please move? I, I mean, just 
causing me pain. I'm just trying God, to this is so beautiful to look at, though. Please move out, Inks. I mean, I'm just don't fuck with me, guys. We got like 10 minutes left in the raid night. I just want to get a good four horsemen attempt done. Um, so first four tanks, that's our normal order. Um, so first four targets goes through the normal. Um, and then from there, we're going to have four furies. So that uh, we also have axe, actually. So that means we're only bringing in three additional furies. Um, Teen and Ephnimor. I know you guys have near perfect sets. So you guys are in. And then uh, from there, let's decide who the last fury is between Glute. We got Mad. They look pretty even. Bro, did you see my whisper to you? Reggie, sorry, you're not going to be needed to tank here. You can definitely heal. Right, so it's your call, Glued or Mad, whichever one wants to tank, I don't mind. The other one's on DPS. That's why we learn. You probably but should. You only have eight warriors, it's gonna be all eight. Oh, I thought we kind of. Oh, well, we have a druid. We have a feral tank. So oh, we have okay. nine tank. But we can just, the extra warrior, Glued or Mad, whichever one of you isn't assigned a corner, the other one just stay in the safe spot and fill the second we have a death. Let's just practice all the warriors tanking. Yeah. We all have the gear for it, so. Okay, um, I just realized I don't even have my trinket, so this will just wow. be try runs. So, what? But it's not needed. I mean, it just helps. But what yeah, trinket are you talking about? Be trinketing the nap paggles broken reel before you do your taunt rotations, so to minimize the chance of a taunt resist. I at least have my set bonus working for me though. So all right, let's uh, remember huge aggro radius, obviously. Now let's pick our corner. So reference the diagram. And we'll assign what tanks are on what boss, and then that'll determine your corner. So I'll just assign tanks right now. Let me type it. Uh, somebody's got to do healing assignments. We need That's three DPS groups. Pro. And healers ro uh, run in a square. I think Taldril should be on Thane or Mograin because I've got Sorry, which uh, fire resist. Who do you want to be on? Thane or Mograin. I'll put you on Mark Mograin. Okay, let's try it. Let's see how hard he hits me, because I've got 150 on me. Wasn't Thrain the weakest? No, Lady and uh, Zelik are the two weakest ones. But they're in the back Thane's, of the room. Thane's the most annoying, so he's usually the first. I want to switch. Let's just kill it tonight. Send it. Send it. <laughs> so my tanks are going to be Ephnimor, um, Teen, and then who are the other two? Where the fuck am I going? I'm about to type it. Uh, axe, so I got Axe killer. Full 8 out of 8. Uh, between Matt and Glute, who ends up tanking? Are you sure Glute. you can taunt the Let's do I'll do it. Glute, do you want to do it? Okay. Matt, you just do backup. You stay in the safe how much, zone. How much defense you got, I'm, I'm going to need your uh, guidance on Huh? Oh, fuck. I deleted a bunch of it. Jesus Christ, one second. That's what I got. We should probably have the tanks in the same group, wherever they're at. You're a good leader, dude. You tank. Yeah. <laughs> So these marks can be absorbed by shadow protection potions. Class is physical, so they can't be resisted. You get wrecked anyway, so. Basically, melee or casters or DPS should only stay in for the 1,000 tick and get out. So they should only take two, three maximum. First mark does zero damage. It should only take three marks. Four at max for DPS. Okay. Um, in fact, let's do Axe on Axe and Glute. I'm going to sub you too. So Glute, you're actually going to be on Star with Flesh. And that's actually Mad, mad and Flesh. Square is back left, right? Uh, 
or matter you instead of the glute. Yep, so I want to start. Speed back it's up. Flesh and mad, and that means glute doesn't end. So that's the new assignments. So, Pro and Teen, we're going to be on Triangle. We're on Thane. Qualian and F no more. You guys are going to be on Square. That's Lady. Taladrill and Axe. You're going to be on X. That's Morgan. Morgan. And I believe that's a fire damage one. Um, or yeah, Taladrill Axe. Yeah. And Flesh and Mad. You guys are on Star. That's going to be Sir Zelik. So in terms of the corners, uh, let's reference the diagram again. So we know what corner everyone's pulling their shit into. So the lady gets pulled in the back left. Sir Zelik gets pulled in the back right. Um, shit, where did the go? Um, and then uh, we have High Lord Morgrain in the front right and Thane in the front left. So the far Thane on the far left, triangle, goes front left. Square, I believe, that's uh, Lady. Yep, that goes back left. X, which is uh, Sir Zalek. I know we mixed up those two, so I'm gonna do that. There. No, all right, so that changes the corner, actually, so I'm gonna move it back the way it was. That's what you guys were preparing for. So I'll stick the way it was. So everyone who's on uh, Star, that's gonna be Sir Zalek. And you guys actually move to uh, the back right. X yeah. moves to the front right. Yeah, color, colors. I can follow colors. So, star goes back right. X goes front right. Triangle goes front left. Square goes back left. And that's our tank assignments. So, Pro and Teen are back left. Qualian and Ephnimor are front left. I'm sorry, reverse that. Pro and Teen are front left. Qualian and Ephnoir are back left. Uh, and the, in the back left, on square, you're going to have this Void Zone. That's a unique mechanic uh, by that boss. Uh, so the Void Zone summons a Void Zone that deals shadow damage to enemies that stand within it, approximately 4k per tick. Small radius, approximately 5 yards. It's that black thing we just saw that somebody walked Yeah, in. and it persists for 90 seconds when dropped. The range is 45 yards, cooldown is 12 seconds. Persists after she is killed. We'll just move Quest away from it. Questione. So how's the tank handle that? Does he just tank a minute? Uh, no. You move him around a little bit. Alright, well let's get an attempt in. We all kind of know what we're doing. Hold on there, Skippy. Hold on, we have our DPS rotation set up. What's going on? Yeah, we so, need to talk about uh, DPS, DPS rotation. rotation. Okay, yeah. I don't want to get clear on the old tank in there. Alright. Meteor does 16k split among people. So, you want the Meteor to do like 1k. UK or something like that. You need like 10 people. 8 people. Basically you don't DPS the back to you. We focus all DPS on a triangle and X and then we rotate it to the back. So I guess like you could just do all melee and all range, but you need three groups now. Huh? Yeah, so off tanks you stay in the middle. If you were listed second, you're the off tank. You guys just run to the safe spot. Main tank pulls them back to the spot. You stay there until the third tick. The third stack on the main tank, then you guys run in and taunt. If you ever resist, just stay there. Wait until you can taunt again and try it. Do I have to wait 10 seconds or can I just, uh, like, uh, what the fuck is it called? I uh, think, you know, you have to use a regular taunt because uh, you have regular, to drop back in a position. Mocking, mocking blow and challenging shout will not trade uh, threat positions. Or it won't replicate the threat position, you know? It'll just temporarily hold. Taunt or nothing, then. Can we, um... Yeah, just sit there. So we need to get improved taunt, honestly, for everyone to do this in the future. All the prop warriors, at least. What was that? Can we kick the offline people in a... Okay. 
fill the groups. All right. Everyone knows what to do now a little bit better, so let's get another attempt in in a second. Do not enter the room until we're ready. Let's get all the free buffs up. Call it out if you're missing something. I'll eat a shitty food real quick before we start. Thank you. Tanks, make sure everyone knows their corner. So pros going front left, Qualian's taking square back left. Teen and Abnomore, you run to the safe spot. Tall drills taking X um, back right, and Flesh is taking star front right. Mad and Axe, you guys also run to the safe spot of the star. So we need a, we need three groups of eight. Yeah, so three groups of eight. Groups of eight. Let's figure that out, and then you guys get to decide where you're starting. Basically, the f advertising. Uh, four mages and the four warlocks should stay together, and then like eight melee together. Which one do you kill last? You Usually kill Vox and Star last. You have to kill Triangle and X first, but like the idea is like you can think of a V, so you know connect to the corner to the yeah. safe spot to the other corner for the Triangle and X and. There's eight groups of DPS in each one of those spots, and you're constantly rotating back and forth like a, like playing pong, you know. So you're Between just bouncing three, back and forth. DPS. Yeah, they keep bouncing back and forth. And do you do you don't you don't let all your stacks drop off before you go to the next one, right? For DPS, you like get three stacks here and then go to get three stacks somewhere else. Or do you uh, have yeah. to save spot in between? Well, each you know, you go, you go. Oh, there's eight groups of DPS in uh, each. I guess it'd be more like a triangle spot. formation, yeah. like playing pong. You know, so you're between just bouncing three, back and forth. DPS. Yeah, they keep bouncing back and forth. And do you do you don't you don't let all your stacks drop off before you go to the next? You can't run from like one it. to the next, that's too much. You have to run, every time you run to a, a corner, to you, go you back have to, to run the back spot. to the safe spot. To that's what up. I thought. So it's so DPS and tanks. We actually need four groups of DPS, not three groups of DPS. Mm, I'm pretty sure oh. it's just three. Well, then you just kind of bounce. You focus one, yeah, you kill a couple first. You don't have to kill them at the same time. No, so no, it's no. okay so, for all DPS to be running in on one and then running out on one. Or most of them, I think. Right, once you get three stacks, you go to another one. That's right. And you and can have, have multiple stacks up as long as you don't have three of the same one. Yeah, you just don't want too many stacks. You can have a few up of a couple different kinds, and it's manageable. So for tanks, that doesn't matter, right? Because we have a redundant tank for every corner. So you guys, tanks are just back and forth in the same one. But DPS, sure you can run healer. from one to another. As long as you don't get too many stacks. And then run back Do to the, the same healers know what they're doing? Yes. All right, let's try and get in a pull, and um, we're you know obviously this probably is not going to be killed, but we can start. Make to sure out the, the healers tank, so. are. Uh, somebody's got to be on the liquid team. So someone's got to be on the tank. Let's very carefully get ready to pull here in a second. I want everyone ready. Don't move up any closer yet. When we are ready, we're going to just barely step into the room on the other side of this gate to show that we're ready. Um, all right, I think everyone's good for the most part. We know where we're going. We're grabbing our guy, moving to the corner. All the other tanks are moving to the safe spot. Um. Tanks, go ahead and step up. Everyone step into the room just barely. Just right on the other side of the pattern on the floor. That shows me you're ready. And here comes ads behind us. Don't ask pull this, please. After more gem. Okay. Um, Everyone square. step right on the other side of the pattern on the floor. Idra here. Are you ready? Square right, and star four. tanks and healers have to be ready to be line it to the back. Yeah, square and star. You guys got to run a long ways. And those healers have to follow you. So figure that out. Okay. Everyone's ready. Squares, uh, triangles coming to the front left. X is coming to the front right. Safe zone is right in front of us, right? The safe zone is right at the b bottom of the steps from right. where they're all standing. Okay, in the center there. And then tanks, we got to get them deep in the corners. All right, everyone ready? Pulling in five seconds. Tanks ready? Pulling in three, two, one. Tanks pull now. Everyone in. Defend yourself. Get to the safe spot, everybody. I brought X with me. There you go. Good job. Yeah. I gave you a second to get it, basically. Get out of the front of Thane or uh, Mugrain. We'll stay in the void Move. zone. Oops. Move. Move. I think I'm in the proper safe spot. Uh, safe spot is flare, guys. You get the mark. Uh, you're doing it wrong. X is free. 
Yep. That's Mark 1. Here comes Mark 2. How do I have two marks already? Oh, that's fine. Get ready for Mark 3. That's when we rotate. We lost. Mark 3 comes in uh, 4 seconds. We already lost people and we're getting marks in the same time. That's not the right spot, X. Right, it's the, X. the corner. Oh, the flop. Sorry, on the corner. corner. Rotate. Second tank's in. Yeah, all the way in the Try corner. Try to get a tank rotation. I have no choice but to obey. He's dead. Yeah, we're gonna need more heals on X next time. So tank rotation oh, we're, we're, came in. We're missing a healer. I'm at four stacks now. It's yeah, it's a wipe. Don't heal Fizzlewink! God damn it! I love that thing in the eighty-five percent. That was a dick move. Whoever did that. Okay, hey guys. So uh, we'll we'll recap this real quick. But that's it for the night. Um, we are now on you know two of the harder bosses in the instance. One's a consume check, one's a coordination check. This is our progression, so I'm glad we got to experience both tonight. We're done with trash, at least new trash in the next. Wednesday is going to be huge for us. Uh, we, I expect minimum two wings. We got to do better than that if we want to start setting us up for success uh, on these remaining bosses. We got to learn. So, I'll wipe on patchwork. Yeah, exactly. We'll make sure everyone has their reels ready next time, and then we're gonna we're gonna continue to farm and uh, make shadow protection potions, and we'll use some guild gold on it to make sure we have enough for everybody. Everyone else has to make sure you have your first aid at two twenty five. That is a requirement next week uh, to be in on some of these bosses, or primarily just uh, Lotha. Lotha. We'll have the usual flasks. We need to increase flask usage on Lotha in the future, but we'll get there. The Zanzas will be big for everybody. This also might be the first week we use uh, world buffs, so stay tuned. You should use world buffs um, for a yeah. low set. If it's allowed, we may walk into Wednesday night with world buffs from the start um, and try to clear as much as possible without a wipe. We'll see how it goes, but uh, we are going to be taking it. We did it! Times, and then also get us past some progression. Yeah, world, world buffs on patchwork and low theft would be different fights. Oh, just on patchwork so we can get past it. The gatekeeper of A bomb wing. Good night, guys. All right, good night, guys. Yeah, hey, uh, positive, positive night. We got experience on the next two bosses of our progression, and we down, down Gothic. So positive thoughts. We're not Gothic. We're down to Hagen. Hagen. I'm in Hagen. Yeah. Oh, I got a trick or treat. Positive thoughts. Oh, the um, this yeah, the Iron Forge one doesn't work. The one in Storm would work, and then sometimes it gives you a bag. I'm gonna use four sets of consumes tonight on progression night. Hey, it's.